Cashew Cakes, it seems you're asking about the origin of the devil gene in the Mishima bloodline, which is a part of the storyline of a popular video game series called Tekken. Boom, boom. Okay. Um. Ah, what? Oh, yeah, you, you're asking for it now, Frieza. Oh, never mind, I'm asking for it, apparently. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> What's that? Ah! <laughs> Unborn children oh, no, starting to be hit by school. Oh Ooh. my god. Alright, I totally missed that. Here's Connor's Oh worst my nightmare. god! Let's go! Oh, hey there, bro. You scared the shit out of me. Holy <laughs> Holy I was taking a sip of water and I almost spat it out everywhere. Hello, adventurers. What can I, do? I don't like him. He's an elf, I don't like Goodbye. him. Goodbye. The beer tastes better. <laughs> yeah. Your beer is terrible. And that's being polite about it. <laughs> what? I've never had any complaints about the beer before. Maybe you are tired of it. But I do live in the woods. Your fear is terrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Why is this such an option? That's being polite about it. What? What? Hello? Hello? Oh, sorry. I, oh god, I, my internet like crapped itself right as the intro was wrapping up. Oh my god, it seems like it stabilized. Oh, that was unfortunate timing. I, I hope, I hope there's, I hope I'm reconnecting. Okay, yeah, everything seems good. It seems good. Uh, you know, if you're watching and you're seeing, I'd recommend refreshing. It'll probably get you caught up. It might be a little bit behind. That was, uh, a very unfortunate timing, but it all, it all seems good now, Chad. It all seems good. Hopefully... Hopefully that's not a sign of things to come. So hello chat. Hope you're all doing good. Hope you had a lovely weekend. I'm back once again playing some weird indie games I've stumbled upon. I've seen many, many people I follow on Twitter. A lot of the indie game devs I follow on Twitter have been really up in this game. They've been really, they've been talking this game big. I'm not gonna lie, looking into it, it looks awesome. I know very little about it. I just know it's called Psycho Pump, and uh, we're going to be playing a girl who has a hammer. And here's the description on this. Okay, <laughs> man, how you doing? Let me read the just the main... Hey, Zayden. Let's read the main little uh, blurb on Steam. This game, by the way, is free on Steam. You can get it yourself. Just completely free. You're sick? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Hope you get better soon. All right, chat. Your entire life has been a lie. There are catacombs under every home and building, stretching down for miles. Something calls you deeper into the labyrinth. Delve into the depths and discover the monstrosities below. Stumbled on my words a little bit there, but it's fine. So yes, this is Psychopomp. And, uh, I mean, what more can I say? And let's get into it. This game, oh, I hope my day's been great. My day's been great so far. Thank you for asking. And, uh, I just really love the aesthetic of this game. All right, let's get into it. Everyone, everywhere, has secrets. And they've kept it a secret from me my entire life. Oh, did you know that everyone has special powers and they've kept it a secret from me my entire life? But I won't stand for that. That's why I made a helmet. I call it machine that lets me read people's minds when I want to. Or Psychopomp for short. But something happened when I put it on. It didn't let me read people's minds, but it did let me see something else. A world that was hidden from me, that everyone knew about. A world hidden in plain sight with all sorts of animals and creatures and dead bodies. 
There are catacombs hidden under every public government building. I will not allow any more secrets to be kept from me. Sounds like the start of a manifesto. Oh, it's so quiet. Hold on. Wow. Why is it? Wow, the, game, the main menu theme was like three times louder than this. All right, let me turn this up. I'm going to regret turning this up. We're going to get to like a jump scare or something. It's going to fucking blow my ears out. All right, so this is our HUD chat. I don't know what any of this means. All right, I'm assuming that the I means we can look at stuff. Yeah, okay. We can talk to things. We can, I'm assuming, interact. Got a hammer. I, I can hammer stuff. I like my hammer. Yeah. Ooh, that's some good sound. Listen to that. Oh, well. Okay, that seems to still be making a metal clang noise. Uh, we have, what is this? Oh, this appears, we have, now, what do, you, what do we think ST is? Is, do you think this is strength or stamina? We got, oh God, okay. Oh no, that's not the button you want to hit. That also put it on my other monitor for some reason. Oh, sanity. Oh, it could be sanity. All right, well, I don't think I want to hammer anything yet. So let's just run. You're in the world. Use the WSD cubes to move and use Q and E to straight. Oh, we can strafe. Hold shift to sprint. Oh. Oh, yeah, we can get some speed. But yeah, I've been hearing lots of great stuff about this game. I want to check it out. Items are important to many things. To pick up an item, choose the touch mode of interaction and click on the item. All righty. Easy enough. Already really loving the aesthetic of this. I wonder what the name of our character is. <laughs> oh, oh, hello. You can talk to people and do many other things to them too, though they may lie to you in many ways. Huh? Why would they lie to me? Let's look at them. Look, the girl doesn't make you think anything one way or another. You feel like she's polite for being that way. It's nondescript, girl. I can't take it. It's only going to get worse and worse. Put on a hell and up at a sewer level. Yeah, I think this game is just one giant sewer level. Oh, we're going up, though. We have to discover the secrets, Chad. We will uncover all the world's secrets. <gasps> oh, God, if only I had a keyblade. Some doors need to be opened with items. To use an item on something, open the inventory with the inventory button that drag the item onto the door. Okay. Oh, items could take a multiple slots. Okay. I love this UI. Oh. A little overlaying texture there. Good work. Keep going. There's so much work to be done tonight. Remember, you can hold control to look around freely, getting a better look at things. Oh, shit. What? Oh, that's cool. Doggy. Wait, what's going on with his head? It's a small white dog. Might be feral. Nothing else out of the ordinary. Yeah. Yeah. Doggy. I love the dog noise. Ah, wah, ah. I, hey, doggy. Hey, doggy. <laughs> uh, doggy. The dog has bloomed wonderfully. King of all dogs, don't idle here. You have much to do. Don't worry, for there is a plan to everything. I'm sure you will see in due time, my friend. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, bye, doggy. Whoa. World map! Oh, shit! Well, I mean, it says, well, sickle, we're going to the sewers. I mean, we gotta go one, two, three. Oh, yeah, one, two, three, right? Gameplay tip. Look for false walls. Wait, did that say look for false walls? Oh, fuck.
Oh, shit. It's not hard to enter a public building. The buffoon who invented locks and windows has never heard of a hammer. Yeah. There could be false walls anywhere, chat. Oh, God. This game's gonna have me Dark Souls secret wall hunting now. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. I wasn't ready for this. You found something <laughs> really huh? cool. Oh, Carol James, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Hope you're having a good day. Let's see here. Is this water? Oh, oh wait, okay. Yeah, that's stamina. Look, I, I ran out of sprint. Ooh, look at that little light swinging around. Oh, that looks great. Oh, our light actually moves how we how we look around. Chad, I am in love with the aesthetic of this game. Anyways, let me in! It's not a that's not a fake door, Chad. It's real. What's causing that light? What are we looking for? And don't think I forgot about Basilisk 2000 either, Chad. Oh, water treatment. Human waste being processed and cleaned. Made acceptable for consumption again. Chemicals being added to chemicals to remove chemicals. I've, I've been thinking about Basilisk 2000 a lot. I just haven't had time to get back to it yet. If water treatment is for our safety and concern, why is there an elevator heading straight into the human waste? What could be hidden down there? You know, that's a good point. Well, let me walk off. Nope, okay. You know, Chad, she raises up a good point. <laughs> and if it is such a big secret, why is it so easy to go down there? Sick fucks. Rip. Just having a normal ride. Hey, you. I'm, d I'm just having a fun day checking out a crazy little indie game I stumbled upon. Hope you're doing well. My day's great, thanks for asking. Hmm. Pipes look rusty from years of decay. They look like they only have a few days left in them. Hmm, I'm worried if I go down there, I'm gonna fall. Playing good, look like a pro. What are you talking about? Oh, there's a ramp here. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. I can free look. Ooh. What's down there? What's down there, chat? You see you see that? I can't see I can't make out what that is. <laughs> Enjoying a coffee? Mm. Ooh. I'm not a coffee drinker myself, but I, I can appreciate the smell of a good coffee. Hello there. Look at these friendly little faces. The double stalked thing looks at you with all of its eyes. It seems to beckon you. It's hello. Love. It's a kawaii stock. Oh, hello. My, aren't you a cute one? Say, isn't there nothing better than being tangled up? Would you like to be tangled up? Uh... It's both love. It's both love. Uh listen Chad, they were they were gonna kill people. I had to take care of them. Uh Yeah, the hammer hair is pretty good. Sorry, Carol James. I don't accept random friend requests. What is that? There's something rotating over there. I see it spinning, and it has caught my interest. <laughs> oh, I don't have enough. I don't got anywhere near enough stamina. I gotta get some more stamina. Let's look around a little bit more. Okay, wait, hold on. I think this might be where I'm supposed to go. Hold on, let's go back. Wait, wait, hold on. What? 
I knew it! Fake wall spotted, let's go! Hey. Uh. Pseudo two dimensional. Hello. No, I'm, I'm trying to. Okay, there we go. I just hit that. Symbolic man! You might think that you're in pain, but I've been here a lot longer than you. Eventually, it'll all become quiet, and I'll return to symbols. Okay, it's nothing new to say. What is this, though? Mmm. Mystery drugs. Yum. I can't look at it. But I grabbed it. What is it? Uh. Did I just... What did I do? Did I... What did I do, Chad? Where'd it go? Uh-oh. Did I break the game? What did I do? Well, there's another one. Doctor, I apologize, but this, this doesn't make any sense. I can't wrap my head around it. All measurements, gravity, trajectory, mass, they're all consistent with a planet, noticeably smaller than Earth. There's no way that Earth lost mass, did it? And what of the Earth that, and wait, and what of the Earth that now hangs in the sky? It too looks just like our planet, but far smaller, closer in size to a moon. I don't see how you can deny all of this. Your claim that all of this is simply caused by equipment failure or operator error is absurd. I understand the desire to be skeptical, and I respect what you have done for me over the years. But at some point, we need to start looking at what is directly in front of our faces. You are in denial of the situation we have found ourselves in. Signed. <laughs> also, I just have a quick question. Carol James, you still here? Can I see the paper? No. Okay. Let's see. I don't know what this is. But I'm taking it. Let's see here. Okay, yeah. I don't think Carol James is still here because I don't think Carol James was ever here. I'm 99% uh, sure that was a bot. They're getting so scary nowadays. I see bots like that and I'm like, I'm pretty sure this is a bot, but they could be a person. They're... they're they're talking normal enough that they, they could be a person. No, that's a bot. Oh. These bots, they make me feel like the lady in this game. They make me feel like I'm going crazy. I have to look at people in my chat and be like, are you real? Are you a real person? It's terrifying, man. Oh, 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 stop it. Why the fuck? There's enemies in this game! I think it was killing me. Maybe that's a healing potion. I'm scared. That thing fucking came out of nowhere. It just jumped me. April 19th. I feel like I just woke up the other day for the first time. I have memories before Sunday, but they just feel so hazy. So much less vivid. I feel so awake now, so real. I just can't stop smiling. Something good has happened. It's happened. For a self-portrait. I will say it's hard, like, getting out of these... I feel like we have a lot of map to look through. Get the hammer at the ready. You never know. I could see now why you'd want to stray from this game. Oh. There's something right ahead of me. What is that? Are, are you friend or foe real? Yo, not friend, not friend. They can't, they can't get in here, chat. We got him, we got him! Really love the sound design in this. I hope I didn't fuck up by accidentally, like, deleting that syringe earlier. Hey, Grizzabelle, how you doing? 
Hope you're having a good day. Let's grab this. Still don't know what these are for. What kind of concrete you want to look? Full of textures and holes. Oh my god, we need to start touching more stuff. No, tell me more about this. The statue meant to be worshipped. Though a bit crude, the wings are quite striking. You talk to the statue, but it feels a bit embarrassing to do so. Fair, fair. We, we gotta start touching more of these walls. <laughs> oh, I feel so good today. Oh, hello. Who's this little fellow back here? I don't think I want to smash them. They don't seem mean yet. Oh, you're kind of cute. The Thrait woman eyes look angry, but mostly tired. Where, where can I approach you to get the best angle to actually see you? This seems good. It's an albino Thrait. Oh, you startled me. This holy place has been overrun by those sparkle-eyed freaks. I could barely do anything to keep them away. I touch her. You reach out to playfully yank her hair, but she doesn't let you. She's mean. Why would she do that? Yeah, she is cute. I agree. Why won't she let me touch her hair, though? That's so fucked up. That's so mean. I can't believe this. So, yeah, for people just tuned in, we're playing a game as essentially an insane woman. And we've, we've, we've built a magical helmet that lets us learn about the world's truths. And we found a giant cave system underneath the, the, the government buildings in our city. This game's completely insane. Ah! Ah! Stop it! Don't yank my ears. Wait a second. I'm getting turned around. No, I did. Yeah, this is new weight. This is new weight. Oh no, did I get disconnected again? Oh, I'm getting. Wait a second. I think I'm back at the beginning. You want to think? That's. Listen. It's, it's different. It's different. Alright. I think that just looped back around. I guess we go this way now, I think. Let's explore up here. I think there's going to be more of those freaks up ahead, chat. Just having a little look-see around. What's that, like, flowing down, you think? Oh, those are chains. They're giant chains. Oh, it's another threat person. Hello. The threat woman stares back at you, suspicious of your intentions. Watch your step wayward. The bridge is out. I've been throwing rocks into this chasm for hours, and I haven't heard one hit the bottom. You reach out to touch her face, but the threat woman bats away your hand, shooting you an accusatory stare. I'm sorry. Uh, well, how do I get across? Hmm. Why is this one stone here? Ooh. Stop touching people. I can't help it. I, I can't resist. Hmm. All right. I don't see anything else over here. What if I just try to go across? It, it won't let me. Okay, that's what I assume. Ah, uh, hmm. What can we do? Do you have any ideas? How do we get past this? It is a mystery. We've also got these syringes. I'm still not sure what they're for. I think they might be healing potions. If there's combat, there's there's probably some sort of healing item, so. Okay, yeah, that, that just leads to a dead end. <laughs> Listen, I gotta make sure they're real. I might be going crazy again. This right here is our main character. She looks completely normal, right? Alright, let's try going back this way. <laughs> I 
Now, which way did we go from here? I don't think I've been down here. Okay, wait, this seems, yeah, wait. We haven't found this lock before, this is new. Oh, oh, what are you? What is that? What is that? Oh my God. I have two HP. Oh, I'm not looking so good. Okay, those are healing potions, okay. Unfortunately, I already used one up. Huh. It's another one. Wait. Hold up, what? I I don't know how I oh. Uh oh. I don't think I'm supposed to be able to do this chat. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Every once in a while it lets me move. Uh, I must free myself. Come on. No. What have I done? <laughs> I broke the game. Free me. <laughs> Uh, uh, might have to actually restart the game, chat. I don't see a way of getting out of this one. I think we might be trapped this time, chat. I, I wasn't, I, I saw myself going into the wall and I was like, wait a second, is this on purpose? <laughs> I couldn't resist trying it. All right, hold on. Uh, let, let me restart the game. Because there doesn't seem to be a way to restart it otherwise. Oops! Listen, we, di we didn't do much. I can get back there and we know now we can do it better. Now I'm ready. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What happens if I hit continue? Okay, we're at least back here, but we still have to go in here. Okay, what? This, it's not too much. Now we know where everything is. Now we know where to go. I know where that secret wall is. It's all good. We don't have to examine everything. Wait a second, I do want to... Okay, I can't touch that wall. It doesn't do nothing. Let's keep going. Oh, you know, I didn't examine this thing before. Can we look at this? Okay, no, we can't. Well, Chad, it's all fine. It's all good. Also, what's our max HP? It's nine. Okay. I thought it was eight, but it's nine. Sick fucks. All right, let's go. We're speed running back to where we were before. I remember we could we looked at the pipes. Pipes look rusty from years of decay. Now what if I talk to the pipes? The rusty pipes sing back to you in a harmony of pneumatic pressure. The rust feels rough, something that you actually kind of like. You think it might be fun if you could rust away, just like these pipes. What if I? Okay, that don't do nothing. All right, so if I start going into the wall, I should stop going into the wall instead of continue going in. Duly noted. Now I'm now I'm ready, chat. They won't they won't get me this time. We'll just uh we'll start with going over here. So check this out. Secret wall right here. Yeah, let me through. Gotta let our stamina fill back up. Hello. Yeah, we talked to this guy before. Wait a second, I didn't try touching him. Feels like paper and wetness. You kind of like touching the symbolic man. He's got a, he's got a good feel to him. We read this. 
Okay, yeah, there's, it doesn't seem to be any way to back out of that once you've started reading it. All right, grab that. He's moist. Yeah, it feels so lovely on the to the touch, you know? All right, symbolic man, get out of my way. All right, now I'm loaded up. Let's go talk to the Thrait woman over here near the bridge. And let's head back the other way. I wonder if I can increase my stamina, because right now it's so tiny. Oh god, wait. My cursor's on the screen twice. Oh no, wait, never mind. Never mind, I'm crazy. Alright. She stares at me. I try to touch her face. Alright, there we go. We had a good conversation. I'll be back. <laughs> I don't know if that does anything, but, you know, it's like, I did it before. I should do it again. Keep keep it so it's all the same. All right, I'll get them hammers ready. It's almost time. <laughs> you. You will be dealt with. What if I touch it? <laughs> Ow! You try to touch the stock thing, but it grabs your hand. You just barely managed to pull your hand free at the last moment. <laughs> They did, that did hurt me. They, they, they grabbed me. All right, get ready, Chad. We're about to get jumped. All right, I, I didn't take too many hits there. Uh-oh. Okay, I was going into the wall again there, Chad. I was going into the wall. It's all good, it's all good. How much HP I got? Seven? We all good. Just make sure we see this note again. Alrighty. <laughs> this is just leading back to the beginning of the level. I haven't even lost enough HP that if it would actually be a waste to use on my healing items right now. Alright, come on, let's go. You and me, buddy. You and me! Got him, let's go. It's just that easy, folks. Get my syringe, look at, talk to, and touch the statue. Then, of course, we gotta see the cute little threat woman back here. Let's see, where is it? Where's she at? There you are. She's mean. She's mean. <laughs> I just love that that's her thought process. Just to grab this person's hair. It's like, well, you're not gonna let me. You're mean. Our character is ridiculous. <laughs> All right, we're about caught up where we were before. I'm a little scared because we still have to fight that crazy thing that nearly killed me last time. I'm like, should I, should I full heal before that? Because that thing brought me down so low on HP. It was right down here. It's right around this corner, I think. Just hug this wall. All right, here it comes. Oh, oh that thing's so dangerous. What the hell, man? All right, I'm back to full. We still got one left. We're back to where we left off, chat. Oh, are you not hostile? The nugget looks at you in a ple in a peasantly way. I thought that said a pleasantly way. <laughs> it's simply so fun to live off uh live off of human waste. We funnel human byproduct into our queen, who in turn replicates the raw material into flesh and milk. What if I touch them? You regret touching the nugget. Your hands are covered in a greasy slime now. 
Well, it doesn't seem hostile. So, I will not kill it. It may live. I was scared I was going to go down and it was going to start attacking me. Oh, I wish I had a little bit more vertical view. Anything hidden under there? Lick it! No, no! Fake wall! No, damn it. Alright, it could have been, chat. It could have been a fake wall. Another locked door? Shit. Looks like there's only one way to go. It's very dark in here, though. There could be a scary monster. Okay. All seems good. I I see something. There's a funny little guy right there. Are you hostile? Hey there. What's uh what's going on? It's moving around in a way that really pisses you off. It's biggest fan! My key, my special key! The queen gave it to me! My special love gave it to me! If anyone ever took it, I'd explode! I'd be so mad! Let's touch it. It almost instantly wriggles out of your grasp and begins dancing again. Oh my god, that hurt me so much! That, oh my god, that took off, that took off almost all my HP! I didn't know, I thought he was just gonna do a funny little blood exp- oh my god. It was so huge. I felt that. I felt that one. <laughs> I I didn't think he was gonna be exploded that big. That was so big. He's so powerful. I'm scared now. I have so little HP. If another one of those big boys we fought earlier shows up, I'm doomed. Wait, do you not go to this door? I guess not. Must be for the other locked door then. All right, just get a nice little wander back. Hey, Nugget. I don't like being near Nugget. Nugget makes me uncomfortable. Oh! Uh... Hello! Uh... Love, lovely day, isn't it? Oh! The key! And a health potion. Her form has taken up the entire room, swollen from years of gestation and propagation. After all this time, look at that lovely smile! Oh, hee <laughs> hee, is it time for me to go? I touch it. You place your hand on the queen's forehead. It feels cold and glassy, like porcelain. The royal nugget looks at you with an air of slimy confidence. <laughs> Heavy is the crown. The guillotine has been set since before the queen was born and will be set for many generations of milk babies like her to come. You regret touching the royal nugget. Oh, she she's just like the other nugget. All right, what about you? Oh, I'm, I'm getting into the wall, I think. Can I take this? Oh, okay, yeah, no, they're okay with that. What if I... Okay. Chat, I think they want me to destroy the queen. Oh, I can't go over there? Oh. What about over here? You know what? I'm just gonna use a healing item just in case something goes horribly wrong. I'm I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine, chat. But what what if though? What if I just 
I mean, they seem okay with it. Yeah, yeah hammer! Hey, <laughs> glitch. I don't, I don't think that's what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. <laughs> I don't think this is working, chat. There was mention of a guillotine. Oh my god, you're right. There is a big guillotine above her. Now, how do I activate it? Hmm. Ah, yes, glitch. That's, that's what I assumed. I actually learned all... I. Had never heard the term psychopomp before this game, and then I was looking up what it meant, actually, right before I went live. Well, I guess let's go to the other key room, then. Yeah, I hope you're doing well. Alright, we got the key. Surely this is the door. I'm, I'm just waiting for another thing to come running at me from around a corner. Yeah, I know. I, I just said I was literally reading up about him before stream. Oh, I knew it! I knew there'd be a, another one of you fuckers! Oh, oh, didn't hit me once, chat. All good, all good. Big room. Anything interesting? Anything cool? I don't think there's anything down here. It doesn't even look like there might be a secret room. I hope these secret walls are all very obvious. Ah, understandable glitch. Ah, yes. A mysterious lover in the middle of nowhere. I'm pulling it. <gasps> I know where that is. And I think I know where... Wait. This is still... Oh, okay, wait. There... That lover wasn't there before. I know where this goes, too, I think. Okay, seems good, seems good. Alright, well, alright, there could be secret walls around here. Hold on. Before we go up, just make sure we do a little check. All seems good. Alright, we're moving on. <laughs> okay, yeah, this does lead where I thought it did. Okay. Chat? What the fuck was that? It sounds like... I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm getting away from there. I don't like it. Huh. Huh. And then this. Okay, yeah, this leads the way I thought it would. All right. So yeah, let's uh, let's go across that bridge. We we brought it back up. And hopefully, there's some more healing items for us. Because now I'm starting to get worried. Now I'm getting scared. It's like, oh shit, the combat in this game is actually dangerous. <laughs> I wonder if our threat lady friend will have something to say about us bringing the bridge back up. Oh, she's already gone to the other side.
really love the sound design. Just really captures everything that's going on around here so nicely. Oh yeah, I've been playing so much Bellatro. Throne looks really disappointed, mostly in herself. The bridge was raised, but there's nothing over here. I had hoped there may be food here that I could bring to my village, but I suppose it was just a pipe dream. All that is here is a lousy, rusty lever. You reach out to touch her face, but the three woman bats away your hand. Damn it. I thought maybe I'd earned her trust. Hmm, there's some strange rusty lever in a red room. I hope this doesn't do anything spooky. Like, drop a guillotine, get him! Hmm, I'm sure that was nothing. Well, that rusty lever was a bust. Let's get out of here. Let's see here. Sure hope I didn't do anything crazy. I would hate, I would hate for that to happen. Also, chat, there's no menu in this game, by the way. I can't, like, save the game or do anything. kind of tempted to put on the retro the retro CRT filter for this game I feel like it would fit it there's also a lot going on I, I worry it might kill the bit right too much because this game's already got some a lot of busy pixels well let's head on down here make sure everything's okay I'm sure they're fine uh wait a second where, where, where did the nuggets go? Oh my god! Oh, we can go back here, though. It's all, it's all fine, chat. It's all fine. Oopsie. I may I may have made an oopsie chat. Hey, is that Oh my god, it's one of those things from Splatoon. I got an egg of the earth. <laughs> hey, I've been Oh wait, we can save our game now. Yay. All right, we're going to the children's hospital. Okay, I'm max HP. Alright. Can we eat that? I don't know! Maybe? Ooh, this is a spooky area. They give you just enough that you can just barely see the walls. That looks fucked up. Children's hospitals have the same smell to them. It's a clean smell that somehow makes you want to vomit. Like a mixture of bleach and Elmer's glue. I love it! I love it! Doctors will always smile at you when they say they cannot help you. Give them the give them the copay and die more as they tell you that they aren't full of cancer, aren't full of incurable illnesses. What's this? Can I get to this? Am I cold being no no no? I'm not a robot. I'm just an average. I'm a, just an average lady. Hospitals feel like the safest place to me, even though I know they aren't. They're the least safe place. A place that will swallow you whole and give you disease. A place that will cut you open and make others feel good about it. Or just a completely normal person. I threw it all at the elevator is there. I can smell it. That smell of rust and petrol breaking through the clean hospital smell. The door's wide open, waiting for me to enter. Just make sure there's nothing else in here before we uh, dive deep into the catacombs beneath this children's hospital. Ooh. See, we're 
We're just completely normal person. Oh, a lot going on here. Hello. Hello, nurse. The nurse looks at you through an eyeless void. You just know she's thinking about me. Welcome to the lower wing. Here we help to preserve the most important individuals of humankind, both in honor of their contributions and as a sign for the rest of humanity to follow. The nurse feels dry and warm to the touch. She really cares about you. Aww. Hey man, how's it going? Plato is before you. He quivers and shakes in a perverse way. I was right about everything in my life except for the cave. I was totally off the mark with that. No matter, there is no better sound than the sound of children. The touch of children, this will Plato, what? Socrates agrees with me, so you know it's good and right. So uh You get no pleasure from touching Plato. Yeah. Uh, mm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go, Plato. There's I'm just running around children's hospital with a hammer. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Well, what about this guy? Hey, whoa, whoa, hold up. Grab me that. Give me that. Cleopatra is before you. She moves and shakes in an ambitious and dangerous way. There's nothing better in life than having people think you're helping them. Popularity is absolutely key when moving forward. If you play your cards right, anything seems necessary. A massacre, a young girl with a slit throat, the dissolution of a people, a crushed slave revolt. They'll do it all for you, if you know how. You get no pleasure from touching Cleopatra. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't think I like the people in this hospital chat. Well, sure, surely our, our third person here will be a lovely individual. Oh god, is that a pile of skulls behind them? Alexander the Great is before you. He quivers and slops in a violent way. There's nothing greater in this world than the feeling of battle. To conquer and to be conquered. To feel that warm slick on your hand. Wouldn't you agree? I would do anything to feel another man's blood again. I get no pleasure from touching Alexander the Great. Oh, hello. The nurse wears a keycard around her neck. As a thanks for their contributions to society, our patients are surrounded by their most favorite things in life. They'll never get bored, and they'll never be unhappy. Nurse feels dry and warm to the touch. She feels very proud of her special keycard. We might have to kill her chat. But I don't know if we have to yet. So she may live for now. Yeah, this game is definitely about, like, just... This, day, this game deals with some serious stuff. Oh, hello. Recently uncovered texts reference two enigmatic figures. Sivanash Vishneri, Queen of Venus, and Christopher Colvin, King of Mercury. Several ancient textiles depict these, being cre uh, these beings created the heavenly bodies and weave in the universe. Their names seemingly refer to two fictitious planets, Venus and Mercury, respectively, which they held dominion over. Nurse has a key card basher in the face. <laughs> Listen, maybe. We'll, we'll get to that. If we need a key card, we'll come back. It is thought that these figures acted as a subject of worship. However, their descriptions and depictions within the textiles match no known religious or religions or cultures. Figure eight, symbols of the aforementioned deities. Note the upright cross, possibly denoting a connection to Christianity. Interesting. This wall. This wall seems off to me. I. Let's go! I'm getting so good at finding these. The fuck is that? Oh god, there's multiple pathways from this? It's a cochlea, an important part of the human ear. 
I used to be a number cruncher for a big corporation, and it was so boring and awful. A boring businessman! Then I got extensive surgery to be a flea... Uh, wait. A free-floating cochlear. And I've never been happier. Ain't that what Liz has got? I think so. Hey, Cheese, how you doing? The cochlea feels sensitive and receptive to sound. Well, seems like a lovely little fella. Let's keep the hammer out at the ready. You never know. Music's getting spooky. Uh. Hello? Oh, nurse. Can I can I examine this? No, okay. Oh, I I get it. Jeez, I oh oh. The nurse is ready for hard work in R and D in the coming future. Perfection. Now that's hard. We've got to strive for it, though. After all, perfect patients need perfect parasites. What, huh? The nurse feels dry and cracked. Uh. Nurses? The nurse looks excited. The future is full of opportunities. The study of neoparasitics is very important to us. Parasites are some of the most efficient creatures on the planet. This new parasite was developed from the body of a young teacher in Berlin. We have very high hopes in her. The nurse looks very proud of new discoveries and mental health. It's hard to turn a human into a parasite. Most people would never want to be a parasite. That's why her brain is filled with dopamine 24-7, to keep her chugging. And it works! The nurse feels happy to be alive. Hey there. The tick squirms and burbles between the faces of the wall, happy to be surrounded so snugly. The tick is simply... Wait, the tick is simply too happy to respond in any meaningful way, so it just gurgles in delight instead. You can't reach the tick to touch it, but you have a feeling it might grab you if you try. Well, alrighty then. Just, uh, gonna head on out of here. Let's go the other way. This has been a lovely little detour. I had a feeling these would just loop back around. The lighting in this game is so good. Everything's so creepy. What, huh? What's, what's that? What's... Authorized access only. Oh, no. Do I need some sort of key card? Okay. All good. Nothing. No issue. This this area is much bigger, I feel. Oh my goodness. That strange little music occasionally tuning in. Just hugging the wall to make sure I don't spot any... Oh, I chat. I think we might need a key card. I think we, uh... I think we might need a key card. The nurse wears a plastic key card around her neck. What a time to be alive! That's really great to get outside every once in a while. Make sure you're going outside. If you're not doing that, you're practically killing yourself. The nurse moves in a shaky, outdoorsy way. What about this weird tree? What is this thing? This thing's it's terrifying. I hate it. Destroy it! I can't. I can't. Won't let me... Okay. Well, chat. Sorry, nurse, but I do need a key card. Sorry. I mean, I, uh, nothing personal. I just, I just really needed this key card. 
Let's go open the other one, because I feel like this one's easier to remember where the location of it is. The other one, I'm definitely going to forget where the fuck it was. Was it even in this room? I know it was in... Oh my god, that actually scared the shit out of me. I forgot they were there. Uh... Hello? The nurse looks at you through an eyeless void. You feel a plump kind of love coming from her. We've nourished our patients so well. Look how plump and happy their bodies have become. I'm so proud of them. The nurse's dry surface is covered in layers of wetness. Uh, well, anyways, there's a lever here. Uh-oh. I think I might have done a bad thing. <laughs> I think I might have done a bad thing, chat. Um, I'm sure it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's, it's probably fine. Let's, let's just maybe go check on some people. I think the key card was in here. Oh, it got real dark in here. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, mm. Ooh, I might have made a mistake. Okay, she has nothing new to say. Anyways, I'm sorry, but I need that key card. Well, let's go explore a little bit more, chat. I don't remember seeing any, any other key cards, though. Maybe we'll find some in the next area. Did we go this way? I don't think we've gone this way down here. Oh boy. Now this is extra silent hilly. Oh, that's sick. I love that. Thunderous looks off in a day, thinking of one ah, thinking of the wonderful heavenly bodies. Beautiful night, isn't it? It makes me feel a lot better to know that when I look at the moon, someone is looking back. Thunderous's warm interior is covered by a cold exterior. another one of these. Alright, well, uh... I'm sure they're fine, Chad. I'm sure it's nothing. Watch out for this guy. is this I don't know how I backed through these without getting caught by any of them but uh feel pretty good <gasps> nurse with a key card the nurse has a key card around her neck you think about choking her with it each and every one of these small rooms has an important figure once the patient has grown enough they'll be moved to their own main room up above it feels like a smile and touches like a day. Sorry. I needed a chat. I knew I could make it. I knew I could make it. Those things are pretty easy to avoid, honestly. Alright, let's go take care of the final patient. We must do what must be done, chat. Oh, no, not this way. The 
to all all you know what they do look a lot like the Magic Gathering slivers. Those were my that was my favorite. Them and the uh, the rats, like the rat ninjas, like those are like my two favorite. What are they? What are they called? Tri they call them tribes in Magic the Gathering. Slivers are fun though. The Nezumi, yeah. The nurse looks at you through an eyeless void. She's trickling in a most vile way. You must understand, nutrients and meat are siphoned from hospital patients from around the world to keep our VIP guests alive. It might seem brutal, but I bet you never even noticed it until now. The nurse touches and feels in a way that tells you she really understands the big picture when it comes to healthcare. Yeah, yeah, anyways. Hey, <laughs> Bob. Hey, Bob, I hope you're having a good day as well, dude. I was happy to see you here. All right, well, I think I've uh, done my civic duty. Now the question is, chat. I did all that. Now what do I do? Now, now what? Maybe we'll do something different in the main hall. Yes, Egg of the Earth! Yo, we're doing it, chat! Let's go to public school! Completely normal place to visit in the middle of the night. When you sleep inside a school, you learn new things. When I sleep inside a school, I taste new things. Alright, this game to wait, what hold up? What is this what is this flag? Oh so it takes place in America. That's not the American flag, that flag's fucked up. But I'm going to school, yeah. What's what's weird about that? You think I am coffee? A lot of blood over here. Oh, lockers. Wow, that's a lot of lockers. Wait a second. Wait a second, hold up. Wait a second. Wait, hold up. I don't think that's how lockers work! You call me, it's from this, it's an old, like, Christian edutainment show. Call me the robot that Ovid loves. Dude, the smell of pencil and erasers, I can smell something new. A thick iron smell. I'm getting close. Keep that smile going! We're getting close. I could, I could sense it. Cold place where they put the loud kids. Yeah, he's got every verse of the Bible in him, but he doesn't have any video games. <laughs> I knew that's where that was going. Is this where I came in? Chet, we gotta find the elevator. Where is it? Dead end. I look into each of the classrooms, and there's only nerve cell clusters sitting at each of the desks. I close my eyes tightly. I think I might be at the other end of... I think I... Wait. I close my eyes tightly, and I think I might be at the other side of the school. Okay, I think that she's saying that we need to go to the other side. Oh. The elevator is down this way. I can feel it, even if I can't see it. It's like a vein that goes down into a heart. Oh my god, jeez! That's really good. Oh, it's the head of production. Welcome to my factory. I trust we will find our own way around here. Oh, okay, boss. Can 
like see the faint outline of some stuff in the distance. Ooh, what's that purple? Open valley. When a child looks to the sky, they will make believe about stars, planets, and other impossible lights shining above. When the adult looks to the sky, they will see no light but take comfort in it. There is no danger in nothingness. When the dead looks to the sky, they will smile and close their eyes, seeing that there was light all along. Stupid! There are no stars! I'm always saying this. This is the main factory floor. I know there's a bit much to ask, but there's a machine surrounding my head. One that will smash it into a fine putty. Will you go and turn off the safeguards so that machine will turn on? Well, I mean, if he insists. PlayStation. Oh yeah, that's true. If you do not love Jesus, Colby will turn you into a robot. Yo, I still have my healing item from the last level. Let's go. Awfully dark in here. Oh, I don't like how this opens up. This factory is not safe. I could walk through any of these walls at any time. Like right here. Oh no, this... Okay. Am I playing fucking Crash Bandicoot now? I just put you back in the main menu, holy shit! Transient location? What? Huh? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Good, I hope you're doing well. What the, f what the fuck? It's boring here, I'm dying of boredom! I can't stand the desert, ugh, what's the status? The queen? She's awake but still dormant, trying to hide. What the fuck? Doesn't matter though. Her progress is perfect. What about the other one? The king is still fast asleep, like a big dumb snoring baby. Good. Do not wake him up until I tell you to. The last thing we need is to deal with both of them at the same time, until everything is ready. Oh, do we have to? There's nothing to do around here. Especially these little puppets. They're boring. Not like the real thing. These ones don't squirm right, and they make such a mess when they pop. Have patience. Soon we'll have more fun than ever before. Uh, if you say so, you're the boss! What? <laughs> Am I a good boy? The best of the boys! The king of all boys! <gasps> Wait a second. Once we see you again, I'll give you a nice big bone. Sounds lovely. I look forward to that. <gasps> Chat's the king of dogs. Oh wait, is this channel secure? Should be. Not like it matters. Nobody listening can do anything. What the fuck? Chat, that was the dog we met at the beginning of the game. It's a floating orb. Something about it seems simultaneously important and absolutely worthless. You try talking to the orb, but it does not respond. It seems that you're not a part of its communication system. You could barely reach the orb, but it feels smooth and jittery. Like there's a great deal of electricity inside. Who is the king? Can I go back there? Oh, I can go back there again. Will this conversation happen again? Okay, I think it's just going to repeat the same dialogue. Interesting. What does it mean? Does it even mean anything? What? Okay, well now... I kind of want to go view it again, because... This time it's in a different location, and it looks different. The Thrade Village, what the fuck? Chad, I think I'm going crazy. We'll finish that other level shortly. I We have to explore these. I want to meet the Thrades, they seem cool.
Do I still have my hammer? I mean, not my hammer, my... Yeah, I still got my healing item. Let's go. Oh, I like the music. They got little windows. The three women, eyes you up and down, distrust in her expression. Our village was forced down here after all the humans appeared on the surface. It's horrible. This is our home. And to call this place our world Earth makes me sick. Don't touch it. You reach out to playfully yank her hair, but she doesn't like you. She's mean! Oh, another mean threat. I'm loving the music here. Three woman looks very hungry, but more than that, she looks worried. Food has been hard to come by. We have to go out searching, and sometimes those who go looking don't come back. It's impossible to raise livestock down here. If you find any food, please bring it here. Reach out to touch her face, but the three woman moves out of the way just at the last moment, looking at you funny. Damn it. Who's this kid? The third child is no older than two years. Yesterday I ate a rat! It was real gross! Everyone tells me that we used to eat all sorts of stuff, but now it's just rats and old hamburgers. Ray tried to pat the threat child, but it lightly growls at you, showing some small but sharp teeth. Alright, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm sorry. Something back here? Nope. Whoa, wait. It's, it's those holy symbols we saw. Interesting. Some of these sections make it look like there's a, a, a false wall, but I know that's just the texture. The three women eyes you up and down, trying to figure out what exactly you are. Up on the surface the other day, I saw a human get hit by a car. Everything inside of them spilled out. Nothing but dust and clay. What? What? You really try to poke her in the eye, but the three women shoots you a look that makes you stop. Yeah, that's fair. Well, Chad, if we ever find food, we gotta try and come back to this transient location. They're hungry. Doesn't seem like there's anything else here. I wonder if we can, like, find food to collect to bring them. Well, let's get out of here. I wonder how many transient locations there are. Oh my god, there's definitely another one. The world can be dangerous. Be careful. Daddy's bad place. Oh no. We got a little cross on the wall here. Oh. An old dusty TV set. It's pretty rare that you find a TV that speaks when spoken to. Most of them are too self-absorbed. When a TV talks back to you, it's a true friend. Repeat, at 3.45 a.m. today... Wait, you don't love this? You run your finger across the surface of the TV set, picking up a notable layer of dust. You think about how it might feel if you were covered in a layer of dust. Wait, what? not a drill. If you are inside, stay inside. If you are outside, find the nearest shelter. If you are thinking, stop thinking. The insect may appear to you as a human. It is not. It is an apparition of your imagination and does not exist. Stay away from the insect as it is highly dangerous. Do not attempt to communicate with the insect as it is highly dangerous. The insect is not real. The insect is not real. The insect is not real. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, uh... I'm gonna just have a little peek around here before we leave. Okay, let's let's get out of here. I don't think I want to be here. Alright, it's the same spot. Alright. Save the game. We're going back to school, chat. Wait a second. Am I facing a different direction? Am I crazy? 
Can I come into this building on a different side? What the fuck? Oh, okay, there we go. That's where I need to go. Alright, so this time, chat, when we get to the smooshers, we just, we gotta sprint. that I can still hammer the elevator while I'm in it. Alright, this guy wants to get his head smooshed. And I'm all too happy to oblige, buddy. That's not one over this way, right? Yeah, let's 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 do this again. Let's do the exact same thing, and this time surely it'll work though. Right? Like if I just tried the exact same thing, it'll work. Okay, wait, that time... Sometimes they lift up faster and sometimes they lift up slower. See, that time it lifted up so fast. Yeah, there's no way. I'm scared, chat. I'm scared. Uh... Uh... It's going up so fast. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> this one, this one seems better. This one seems easier. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Just wait, just wait. All good, all good. Hey, hey there, how's it going? Medallion Man shatters his teeth when the Crusher smashes the floor. Oh, you made it through. That's the sign of a good worker. A good worker doesn't follow safety protocols and does not die when doing so. Rust and sweat and metal shavings. That's what he feels like. Alright, well, uh, let's keep going. Interesting looking room. What's this guy up here? They look like they're having a good time. Lots of teeth around here. Medallion Man sends in place. It smells like enamel around here. This is where we make parasitic enamel. Once mature, the enamel will be applied to the teeth of the children up above, and will learn new things from the words they speak. This information is fed to a generative model, which will then use it to create new lessons for the children. God, it all makes sense! Rust and sweat and metal shavings. Safeguard? Medallion Man sends a place. He guards the computer with his life. Oh, god damn it. Is the head of production trying to kill himself again? Let me guess. He sent you here so you could crush his skull. Not gonna happen, dumbass. Get the hell out of here. That's what you think, buddy. Safeguard off. All right, and we continue further into the spooky realm. What is this guy up here? I like this guy. What's that? The way you could just see like these set pieces in the distance. Really love it. I need to look up some other. I can't remember who made this game. I'm gonna need to look up. The I'm going to need to look up some of the other stuff because this is fantastic. Oh, okay. I know where I am. That's nice. I don't have to go back. I thought that was him, so I was going to have to go back through it. That's nice. Oh, now we can go die to some other strange danger. I hope everyone's enjoying the game as well. It's gonna be very strange, surreal experience. The Meta Man twitches and stares at the gears with a sense of lust. Having a factor under an elementary school is so pragmatic, wouldn't you agree? It affords us so many opportunities you wouldn't have otherwise. Just rust and sweat.
Well, oh, oh, no, 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 no. What the fuck is that? It was like one of the fucking man hacks from uh, Half Life. Oh, that's the head of production. Hold on, maybe we should go talk to him before we go to the side. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to kill him if we do this other side. Just make sure. We should at least, you know, talk with the guy before his head explodes. That's just common courtesy, chat. This room is fucking huge. Holy shit. Oh, no, it isn't. I lied. It's actually really tiny. The middleman smiles at you and grimaces too. The head of the factory is up ahead. The fucker keeps begging us to kill him. Doesn't he know how important it is to continue manufacturing? Cold and hard to the touch. The cloak is made of pig iron. So he does have pig iron on his hip. I think I've been needing to hydrate more. And I feel like I've, I don't feel like I've been that bad with hydration, but I don't know, my my left eye, like, for a good chunk yesterday, was giving me a little bit of a twitch. And I'm like, I know that's a sign of maybe, like, a little bit of dehydration, but, like, man, it feels like it's been happening a lot. What's that? Oh, it's just one of yous. It's just one of yous, guys. Hey. The Miniman thinks about cool things in the future. This is my favorite building in the factory. When a small child has outlasted their use, we melt them down into slag and turn that into new butter knives and egg slicers. I think that recycling is beautiful, don't you? It feels like vibrations inside. Oh my god! I was like, what the fuck is that noise? Uh, oh my god! I can get awfully close to that thing! <laughs> All right, you. Hey, you. Huh? Let you buy to shut down the safeguards so you can crush the head of the factory. You gotta be stupid if you think I'd do that. You gotta be a dumbass if you think I'd do that. Metallic man looks at you disdainfully. You can't touch this guy. Too bad. Safeguard off. Well, that takes care of that, chat. I haven't found a single secret wall on this map. That can't be right, right? Like, but there hasn't been a lot of walls is the thing. Is it, what if this guy was guarding the secret wall? Nah, he's not. Well, hmm. All right, we've disabled the safeguards, chat. I think we can now go smoosh that guy. I think I'm getting better at the controls of this, too. I'm a coming, dude! Safety protocols have been lifted. Well, how do I get across, though? Oh, no, the bridge is here now. Okay, the bridge wasn't here before. Making sure I'm not missing anything on the sides. My life has turned into an endless line of misery and illness. I beg of you, if you have any mercy in your soul, please kill me and make it as painful as possible. Okay, we can't go around that way. Or that way. Okay, yep. I'm looking at it. I'm 
talking to okay I'm pushing it <laughs> all right I did it oh well that was this was the easiest level yet oh yeah chat that's an egg of the earth I think that was the trait the trade village all right let's go back to the entrance Whoa! I'm falling. I feel like it's been coming for a while, but it never does. Deeper into the earth, deeper into dirt and rock and veins and sinew. Real world tip. There is a Mariana Trench under every town. Wow. Oh, we're in the Mariana Trench. Don't worry, there's plenty of bubbles down here. We got plenty of air. You know, you, I played Sonic. You know, you, you need air. You go, you go just stay near the bubbles for a second. I don't like this anymore. Oh my god. Little nooks and cr I can't resist looking at all the nooks and crannies. All right, what is this thing? Oh, there's multiple of them. The girl structure floats happily. It doesn't say anything though. If I touch it, it feels like tough beef jerky. The girl structure floats happily. It's like tough beef jerky. Okay. Well, I, I guess we keep moving forward. Can't really see ahead of me. It's very dark. I, uh, oh, I hate, I hate being underwater. Oh my goodness. You know, I'm just gonna go down the straight path. That's what they want me to do. It's okay, chat. It's, it's normal. Nothing weird. That's normal. <laughs> yeah, right? All right. Oh, hi! Right, this what? Where the we made it, Chad? Uh, 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 we're there. Everything's been leading up to this moment. I knew it. The smaller Earth at the center of the Earth. The core. There it is. Oh, this is it, the life meat of the world. I see it and I somehow know exactly what to do. Finger movements and speaking, words I know but have never heard. A warmth, a love, I will make you anew. Born to flesh from ash and clay. There you are, my wonderful child. This world has been changed and has been twisted into something it is not. It will change more. Perhaps that is inevitable. Let us awaken your siblings. There are no secrets now. I see everything within my domain. Thank you, dear Helmet. You are perfect in every way, baby. I'm feeling pretty good. Let's leave this hole and never look back. Yeah, that was like a pop. I, I loved it. I don't know. I don't know what you guys thought. Thanks to the world. Yeah, it's just a game about playing as a fucking psycho girl. Love you. Thanks for playing. I loved it. I thought that was great. The sound design was fantastic. Stick around for the song.
It says congrats now. Oh, look, she's happy. I, okay, wow, they, they did, they weren't kidding when they said stick around for the song, that caught me off guard. Alright, that was good. Oh wait, is it going to start up again? Congrats. <laughs> wait, I got, I missed two achievements, chat, what the fuck? What did I miss? Pet the dog, didn't I? Oh, wait, I talked to the dog too much to be able to pet it. And view the epilogue. Wait, the epilogue? Hold up. Launch the game again. What do you mean view the epilogue? There's an achievement for viewing the epilogue. How do I... What? Why did... Where? Did we not... Was that not it? The Forbidden Location. Did I get the Chaos Emeralds? I guess I did. The Forbidden Location, the library. I was like, there didn't seem to be a lot. Like, what did I miss from the game? Whoa, what's going on? Been forward. The brilliant interstellar phenomenon lighting up our skies. I don't feel that I need to introduce you to remove it. Okay, I'm not reading all this chat. Uh, uh oh, I think they're on to me. I think they found out I'm in here. Uh. -oh. Uh, uh. Maybe, maybe I'll go back in here. Uh. Oh, I restarted it. Uh, I'm just there's, there's no exit chat, or is there? Uh, what did I do wrong? I didn't do nothing wrong. I swear, get me out of here. Is this eye different now? Huh? Oh shit, are we king now? That message we found that mentioned of like a queen and a king. Oh my god, wait, hold up. <laughs> Is there a lot more to this game? Oh my god, he has his own fucking stamina and health meter though. This, this whole new unique uh, unique UI, this is great. I like it's our best friend, the completely normal dog. It's an old vending machine for, sever, uh, for serving water and soda. It doesn't seem to be working. Why would you talk to a vending machine? That's absolutely absurd. 
The vending machine feels warm to the touch, and something about that makes you feel sick to your stomach. I pet dog. Ah, how nice to meet you. Your face seems to have broken and become abstracted. I do say my god- oh my god, it happened so fast. The matter happens to the best of us, we have more important things at hand. I am the king of all dogs and I bring you a very important warning. Look to the skies, do you not feel it? When you set your eyes upon the bloody earth above, do you not see it? Something terrible has awoken. Soon we'll descend upon the landscape and bring about utmost destruction. I must beseech you, you must put an end to it. Only you have the power to do so. I know a business-minded individual like yourself will have no problem figuring this out. We must make haste. I have some associates that I will introduce you to right away. Come along now, there's no time to lose. Jeez. Oh, Man, I'm in the middle of a stream. I can't, I can't do the music results stuff. I am very excited to look at it, though. This game was sick. Oh, I love this. Wait. The, the HUD's getting fucked up. Okay. Let's quit the game. There we go. All right. I feel like I did everything. Yeah, I got everything except for pet the dog, which... I mean, I guess I could just launch the game and get that again, but I'm not worried about that. All right, let's see here. Oh, there, we still got so much time left, chat. Let's see here. What other games? I got some other games here. I... Listen, I didn't get a chance to because I talked to him too much that his head popped open and he revealed his true form. And I was no longer able to pet him anymore. Don't you worry, chat. I got some other good games. I got some other games here. It's going to be a little bit of a grab bag day. Let's see here. Where's, where's my... There it is. All right, let's see here. I was thinking we would check out. Oh, wait, I need to. I need to capture this one, a special way. Give me, give me one moment, chat. This one's a web game. Oh no! Wait, this isn't the, this isn't the game I was looking for. Although that game we will also check out. No, hold, hold on, chat, hold on. Where is this? Oh no! I've lost sight of one of my. Hold on, I have to find my game again. I know, I have a link for it around here somewhere. One second, let me pop on some music. Be right back, one moment. This is, oh, it's the perfect game for right now. Where the fuck did it go? There we go, I found it again. Oh, there we go. Oh good, there's a downloadable version, even better. I always, I don't know, I'm always nervous with browser capture. I'm always scared I'm gonna accidentally like, leak like my credit card info or some shit. 
And I'm gonna have to go around and run to go through a huge process of fixing all that, but thank God there's a local version. Alrighty. Is there a Twitch category for this? Let's see. Oh my god, there is. Let's go. Alright, chat, we're playing a game called Nip for Speed. It'll be on screen in just a moment. Where is it? There it is. Project Nip. And I'm definitely going to have to turn this down. Let's see here. Where's that volume slider? Here we go. Play Freebird! <gasps> Come on, OBS, capture the game. Meow. Alright, hold on. OBS, what are you doing? Why aren't you capturing this game? I. This game kind of just like goes right into it, so it's it's hard. I don't want you guys to like miss out on it. Is the thing. Ooh. There we go. Ooh. Is that the Skyrim? Oh, huh? Well, where am I? Huh? Yo. What? Huh? Hey you, you're finally awake. You really went on a bender. I'm going to get some burgers. You just hopped in and tagged along. Nice with some company. What? Yeah. Uh. It's going pretty slow and I don't want to stretch for the gear shift. Could you please shift gear for me? Don't worry about the clutch. I glued it to the floor. Uh. What's going on, buddy? I'm just... Oh, wait, no, I, uh, I'm inspecting it. Wow, look at this. Wow. Uh, anyways, there's a beer back here. Yeah. yeah. Are you... He really, he really wants me to get, all right, all right. I opened it, though, though. Oh, is that another cat back there? Hey, Brady. Yo. Ah, that's nice. I've never gotten this fast before. Or, well, it's hard to tell when the speedometer is broken, but it feels fast. Look at this bone. Yo. You're not very talkative. It's rather awkward. Could you please turn on the radio for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One second. Why is this bone so bloody? Uh. I'm just, I'm just looking around at some stuff. Just change your gears a bit. <laughs> Alright, uh, well, you want the radio? No. Oh man, I love this album. Glenn and the Boys always make such great music. Truly one of the greats. It's like a mix between catching a mouse and demolishing the Christmas tree. No, I'm inspecting. This is me inspecting it. Meow, meow, meow. Oh fuck, he's waking up as well? I need up the dose next time. Quick, shut him up before he grabs the attention of the cops. Just hang out. Just you calm down, buddy. Wait, what? Is that a poker chip in between my seat? Uh, I think he wants a bone. You want bone? No. Good thing you didn't try to shoot him. That would have been pretty gruesome. Besides, I ran out of bullets and it would have, it would have, wait, and it would have seen your act of betrayal and been very sad about it. Yeah, yeah, no, I would have done no, that. No. Oh, it's on, right? Always gets me so sentimental. Mind grabbing a cig for me? Here you go, buddy. No. Could you light it for me as well? Yeah, yeah, here you meow, go. Meow, meow. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. I wouldn't mind having a passenger princess like you around more often. Aw. Aw, thanks. See all the odd traffic signs outside? Almost like we got our licenses in the cereal packet. You got a seam problem in your neck. Meow, meow, meow. Oh shit, that's the cops! I know what I said about the gun earlier, but I think... 
I lied. It's still very much loaded. Give it to me quickly. Go. Good thing I saved that bullet. I can't nip is safe. And for now, and remember, you saw nothing, got it? Yeah. Yeah, 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 man. I, I didn't see nothing. Yo. Shit, I'm thirsty. Grab me a can from the back seat, will ya? <sighs> ah, that's the best sound in the world. Give me a sip of that. Gotta love a two Borg 5.2%. This cat's a reckless driver. I don't know, chat. I'm a little scared. It's warm with all this fur. Can you please roll down the window or your window? If I roll down mine, I'm afraid the dog will just absolutely stick their tongue out through it. Meow. I asked the cold night. It's amazing. I'm glad you were along for this ride with me. Ah. Do not. What? What does that mean? Did I ever tell you that I actually can't draw? Oh my god! <laughs> Remember, children, seat belts save lives. <laughs> All right, that, that was that game, chat. All right, that was that was uh, nip for speed. There we go. <laughs> Like that, that was a game I've just had on, on my shelf. Like this will be a fun, like little quick thing, little uh, little thing to just lighten the mood at whenever I play some weird goofy shit. All right, I I don't even now. Here's the problem, chat. Is a lot of these games I collect, I put them in my folder, my folder for games. I could whenever I need some backup games, I got this folder. Problem is, a lot of I don't remember what the fuck they are. After a while, I'm like, what the fuck was this? I got a game here called Moth House. Let's play that. All right, let's play. Let's check out Moth House. That might be cool. It's also made with Unity. Hey, this one got captured immediately. All right, uh, let's get started. Let's check it out. I genuinely don't remember what this is. Dear son, I hope this letter finds you well. I am writing to inform you that I am leaving far from here on an expedition. Unfortunately, I can't provide a location. I know this may come as a surprise to you, but please understand that this decision was not an easy one. If in a year you do not receive a letter from me, it means that I will not return. I hope that this will not happen, but if I still do not uh, d if I still do not get in touch, then I have a request to you. In the attached letter there is a list with species of moths. Come to my house and catch at least one of each species, and then let them out of the house. But it's better if you free them all. With all my love, your dad. What? Alright. Okay, dad. Kinda weird. I don't need to go back. A moth house? Oh my god, our character's got a hell of a stride to them. Like, this is me just tapping the button. I feel like I'm walking on ice. This is kind of insane how I move. Oh, the match is going down, I just realized. Oh, shit. Aye! A rat! I was scared. Also, it was really loud. Let me turn it down. Oh no. Oh no, Aubin. Hey, Moths! This match is getting awfully fucking. Oh! Use the mouse wheel to change the item. Oh! Oh! I've caught. Oh, dude, I'm catching so many moths. Oh, okay. It's okay. I had another match. Oh, I I saw that there was something about like Magic the Gathering doing some furry stuff. I didn't know it was Redwall related though. I fucking love Redwall. Oh, I, I didn't I genuinely did not care about it at all before. Now I'm kind of interested. Moths! Big moth! Get it! Alright, he said I had to catch one of each one, but it'd be best if I caught all of them, so. I mean. 
We should get all these. Get, get the little son of a bitch. I think that's all of them, right? Wait, is that a little guy? Yep. Uh, just a world inspired by Rumble. Oh, okay. Oh my god, there's so many more over here. I sure hope I have infinite of these uh, matches. Get that guy. There's still so many, dude. Oh my god, look at my beautiful moth collection. Holy shit. It's, it's going up so big, chat. This game's great. I can make my number go up? I love this. What was that? Got so many moth. Oh my. I, I'm never going to leave this hallway. They just keep coming back. Dad said I should try and get all of them. Or it would be best if I got all of them. Damn it. And I think... I think I got them all. Hold on, let me uh, lay another one. Oh, look at that lovely picture. Hey, what's this? Temperature. Uh, wait. No, wait. Is this... Kilohertz? Is this... Frequent? What is it detecting? Do I think uh, furries are becoming a target demographic in pop culture? Absolutely, and I'm all here for it. Moths emit ultrasound as a way of communicating with other moths and detecting their environment. This ultrasound is typically measured in kilohertz, with the average value of around 30 to 60. The moth produces the ultrasound by vibrating special organs in its body called timbles. Interestingly, there are devices called bat detectors that can capture these ultrasounds, which can help in monitoring moth populations and their behavior. This is because bats, which are natural predators of moths, also use ultrasound to locate their prey. So I guess we should use this to check if there's moths. Oh. It's gone. It's in between 30 to 60 now. I, oh. What do you know? It was right. Now it's gone. Oh, okay. Bad moth have counter in tell. We're close. I could sense them. That is a. It's a big reading behind this door. It's locked. Hmm. Must be a lot of moths in there. Thought I might have seen a moth. Oh my god, look at the goose channel! Oh, I love this one. Alright, All right, let's, just, let's just have a little watch on this while we uh, help free these poor little moths trapped in this house. They must be freed, chat. Look at them all. Trapped in this house. They should be out in nature where they could thrive. If this game were colored, it didn't have the case rights, it would just be a comfy game. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. Alright, we're moth free. Oh my god! I love these moth pictures. Oh, a crowbar. That might come in handy. Wait, hold up. Yo, no one told me this is a cooking game. I'm I'm so into this game. All right, chat, we got to cook us a delicious meal. I also, I quite love the uncanny sprites, which is the real hand and match. I think it's great. Get that one little guy. Get over here. They were trying to escape me, chat. What do I got? Okay, this, this place is clean. 
The lunar moth is a large, beautiful moth native to North America. It is named after the Roman goddess of the moon because of its pale green color and the crescent-shaped markings on its wings. The lunar moth is known for its short adult lifespan of only about a week, during which it does not eat or have a mouth. The wingspan of the lunar moth can reach up to 11 centimeters, making it one of the largest moths in North America. The caterpillars of the species are also quite striking, with bright green bodies and long spiny tails. The lunar moth is primarily active at night. Or pilot red sun video, yeah. Also, hey, Sickle, uh, why we catch a moss? I don't know. My dad was like, hey, I'm gonna go out and do something. If I don't come back in a year, I'm probably never coming back. So, uh, what you should do is come to my house and catch at least one of every moth. Ideally, you could catch all of them, but I mean, just one of every moth will do. And I was like, you got it, dad. I'm there. I'm catching them. Sure, I'm not missing anything in here. So many, you little guys. Hold on, can I get a reading in here? Oh my god! Okay, now this room's clear. This room seems clear, but outside. Fairly recently, a hawk under the house, and it was generally like birds. Oh, hawk, what, a hawk moth? I've never even heard of that type. A bird sized hawk? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds insane. Yeah, I've I, I've never seen a moth anywhere near as big as a bird. Hey, a key, son of a bitch. How, how's our moth collection? Yo, look at all these moths we got. We're still missing a bunch of different types, though. We got the gank. Look at that little fucker on the bottom left. That thing is... That's actually a scary looking moth. If I saw that, I'd be like, what the fuck is that? Okay, I think we got all the moths here, so... Let's see here. I need a, the right tool for the job. Spiderwebs! <gasps> they could be eating my moths! Why would I want to put out my match light? Well, surely there's, there's no reason I need to put out my match light. Wait, what? Oh, sh oh, Brad, I remember hearing something about that. It actually looked really funny. I I do remember. I think I think I saw like a trailer for that. Oh, I would I would absolutely play that with you. I played the demo for the first one, but I never. Chad, what the fuck was that? What, Chad, Chad, what the fuck was that? Maybe, maybe I, I don't need to catch every moth. Um, oh, oh, Chad, I'm starting to think this game might be a horror game. Like, I don't know. Starting to get that feeling. Okay, when this thing starts shooting up, that means he's close. I can't, I can barely see the thing. I don't, I don't like this. I'm not going that way. Let's just, uh, let's just, let's just, just get these guys. It's all, it's all good chat. Ah, it's 
It's all good. Oh god, this this got way scarier. This actually got pretty spooky. I was I was so relaxed catching my moths. Oh. I I'm pretty sure that's my dad. Dude. right next to me oh recipe whoa huh I'm scared to put the light on There was just a lot of moths here. You don't know why. Oh. I'm finding recipes. I don't know of what though. There's still some. There's still so many moths. There's so many of them! How, how's our moth collection doing anyways? Okay, there's a lot more that we... Okay, we're still missing like half of them. I don't like this. Oh. Okay, I think time stops when I read these. Hi, Paul. It turns out the lingua moths has many abilities besides speaking human language. They are capable of... So I have to report that I'm going to... I'm not sure I'll be back from there. Put in the name of science. I'll to, but, oh, but in the name of science, I'll have to check it out. I grow new types of moths in the basement. I hope that while I am away, my house will not rot from a large number of different moths, just in case. I'll block the entrance if something happens. Then I'll let the key in the attic. Or, in the library. Okay. Oh my god! Okay, it's just a big moth. Oh. What's happening to me? Okay. I, I escaped, Chad. I just got I just got a little a little cocooned. It's all good, it's all good. <laughs> oh my god! There's no way I'm getting all these! I can't, dude, I can't, there's no, literally no way. Was one of them moving? You sure? Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Okay. Now, Chad, now that I've been caught once, now I know what awaits me. The fear, it has left me. I'm ready. As soon as I light a new match. Let me just clean up the walls a little bit. It's all good. It's all good. Chad, there were so many moths in that room.
The, the noise scared me. The noise, the noise scared me. How am I doing, boss? I'm still missing so many. I'm still missing so many. Okay, well, there, we have like, what, seven times we're missing? Seven times, okay. There's no way I could spot all those. Oh, I'm back over here. Okay. We're back in the main house now. Is there anything? Was there any other areas here? Okay, no. I'm assuming the moss can't get us if we crawl under that. Because this, this area over here has one of those as well. And I think that's kind of like our, uh, our zone of safety is going past this. One close. Oh, we're back up in the attic. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck. Oh, God. Can't get me now, buddy. Oh, dude, how many of them are there? I can't, I can't go anywhere without running one of these things. It's so dark, but I need, I need to go up into the attic. Oh my god. I think I lost it. Oh! Catch me some of these attic, attic moths! Attic moths, give me! Alright, you said in the attic library there's a key. I think it's just below me? The sound design is kind of fucked. Let's catch some of these guys. Dude, I- this sound design is killing me. It sounds like it's all around me. Capcom buff Luke because he lost the tournament? My god. No one ever thought it would come to this. There's so many of yous. One of you's gotta be the right ones. That was definitely the, uh... There we go. I'm, I'm trying to get rid of the ones that make noise. So that I can more clearly hear the big boy. Chat, we have all of them. Don't we just have to free them out of the house now? Isn't that what he wanted? We have every type of moth. There was a locked door, I remember, at one point. 
but I don't remember where it was. Dude, I'm getting kind of mopped up. Okay, okay. There was a locked door. Where was it? It wasn't this. Okay, Chad, we're ready. We're finally going in. The final door. Dad? You in there? Oh my god! Dad! No! Hello, human. I'm the Moth King's helper. You see, the king can't speak like a human, unlike me. I know the human language, and I can also translate from the language of moths. Our master has disappeared from this house, and the Moth King is hungry. He's already tired of eating little moths flying by past him. Once he, once he even almost ate me. The king needs to be fed urgently with normal food. He needs soup. Moth soup. There are many types of moths, and if you mix them properly, you'll make a great soup. Please make soup and feed the Moth King. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering what that stove was about. Okay, let's try cooking this one. This means he's right. You know, you're right. One of every moth, we're going in. Alright, buddy. I got you every single moth. I got them all. It was this way, right? Nope. Alright, here you go, buddy. How about this? Thanks, but one pot of soup is enough for a king. Make more soup. Also, I don't know if the king liked the soup, so it's better... So, it's better will be if you make soup from other ingredients. Oh, God, Andy's picky eater. Fuck me. Okay. That's where I must eat my moth soup. Oh, my God. Alright, we'll work our way over to the left. Alright, what about this one, buddy? Probably gonna want the only one I don't have. It's this is the wrong door again. He's gonna want the one I don't have, chat. Thank you, but the king is not eating for a long time and two pot soup is not enough for him. So make another batch of soup. I think you'll have enough. Oh, okay, we only need to make one more. What about this one, buddy? I did it again. I do it every time. Thank you so much for feeding the Moth King. He really liked your soups. So he has powers, and we could finally leave this old house and find yourself another place where there is normal food. I was glad to meet you, but we have to go. Goodbye. Yo, oh, we did it. Be free, Moth King! Let's go. Moth House! That was a good short little experience. Let's leave the Moth House, though. Let's see. Oh, we still got plenty of time. How about another game, then? Hmm. Remove that from my collection. Alright, I got another demo here that I've been really interested in trying. Uh, I know nothing about this game. other than, Once again, it's another one of those experiences where I just saw just a, a couple images and a little bit of video of the game. And I was like, this looks cool. I should check this out. I'm gonna, this game is called Harold Halibut.
Let's see here. Let's... Steam page. Harold Halibut is a handmade narrative game about friendship and life on a city-sized spaceship submerged in an alien ocean. Join Harold as he explores a vibrant retro future world in his quest to find the true meaning of home. And the art style was just like, whoa, this looks beautiful. This game needs a controller for best experience. All right, hold up. All right, I got my controller. I'm ready. All right, I'll have the game on screen for you guys in just a moment. Ooh, digging the music already. God, check the options. Wow, there's actually a lot more here than I'd expect. Subtitles on. Display. Okay, V-Sync's on, good. I need V-Sync on. What graphics? Oh, oh, come on. Crank everything up, let's go. I want this game to look beautiful. Depth of field, off. Motion blur off. Volumetric fog. Now, is this the quality of the fog or is it gonna like add more fog? I'm gonna leave it normal. Alrighty, let's get into it. But this is a point click adventure. Oh, I'd like to say also this is just a demo. This is a demo that's available on Steam right now. You can play yourself. Look at all the little fishies, chat. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh my god, we're on the boo! That's the Gungan planet, right? Yeah, this game's in claymation. And I was like, this looks awesome. I really wanted to check this out. Whoa, that animation, what the fuck? What was it that like? Smoothing. Fedora. Fedoras are awesome. He looks like your dad. Oh, shit. I believe this is our character. Harold, I'm afraid I need you to come with me. Oh, oh hell yeah, I don't have to do any reading. Hi, Major. What's the matter? Is that leak bothering you again? It's your fine, your unpaid fine. I had a fine? You still do. Tubing without the proper credit on your tube card. Oh, my and tube card! Now. Uh, no, but wait, I I'm sure I topped it up. Improper tube card management, Halibut. You surely recall that since last week, the Energy District tubes require your tube card to be topped up with blue credit. If an onward journey to the social district is intended, in addition to the usual weekly turquoise credit. Wait, but only last month it was a green. I don't make the rules, Harold, but the rules make me. Now let's get you over to the fine secretary 
so we can all get on with our day. Oh, yeah, okay. Aww. The models also kind of remind me of all um, of the end user insufficient funds clause. I'm afraid if you really can't pay, you're going to have to think of someone who can. I guess that means we'll have to wait for the professor again. Who the knows professor. what she sees in you? Right, I'm needed elsewhere. There's a disturbing rise in the number of people traveling without the appropriate tickets recently. I hope for both our sakes not to see you again soon, Harold. I feel we're in gameplay now. Okay, now we can play with mouse and keyboard. But here, if they, if they want me to play with control, I'll try. Can you just put this on my account? I'll pay as soon as I... Mr. Halibut, you don't have an account. Not since we blocked it. Please, Mr. Secretary. That's not Richard Iowani. I mean, look, can't we... <laughs> Your name is Mr. Secretary? <laughs> Damn, my title, young man, is all water. Oh my god, the Z! It is not my name. Anyway, see, thank you so much for the raid. Corporation can't be seen to make exceptions. You'll have like, to go how was, how was your stream? What were you up to? Like everyone else. How, how are you doing? I see, I'm still so floored by your debut. All, all that stuff looks so good. I'm you're playing Pokemans. Oh, I hope you're having a good time. I've just, we've just been welcoming Raiders. We're just hanging out, playing a variety. It's been a bit of a variety game day. Playing mostly some horror adjacent stuff. This game is not horror, though, I will say. If anyone is not a fan of horror, this is not a horror game. This is a game called Harold Halibut. We just started it. And we're, it's, all, it's like a claymation style game. And we, it takes place inside, like, a spaceship that's inside of an alien ocean. I don't, we just started. And all right, our character is like having some financial issues. This game is clay, yeah. Look at it. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit down here. So, what are you in for? Oh, I'm just here for It's called a summary. Company. Shut up! Aren't you a little young to start working for Allwater? What? No, I meant because. It was a joke, doofus. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> peace now? Oh, sure. We'll do. Have fun. I'm liking the writing so far. Felix? Hi, Ma. Uh, look, before you say anything, whatever your excuse is, it'll have to wait. Busy, busy times. Mr. Secretary, please charge whatever Felix's fine is to the company tab, please. Of course, Mrs. Van Der Vaart. Have a pleasant day. You too, Master Van Der Vaart. Freedom! Have fun, Harold! Uh, yeah, yeah, the, the thank, thanks, kid. I was say, the models of this also remind me of... Of, uh... <laughs> the person who makes those games like Fuzz Dungeon, I stream of the Fedora One. Dear people, crew, and company, we seem to have discovered something super cool. Yo! Please do consider to congregate tonight at the Agora Theatre to for some important information. That just said a lot of nothing. Oh, Harold, here you are. I've been looking all over. Get your buns to the lab, if you please. I do beg your pardon, ma'am, but there is still the matter of an outstanding fine for Mr. Halibut to find a proxy for. What's causing, like, the ghosting of their limbs? And fairly applied fine, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Please do not cause me further consternation. Just put it on my tab as always. Come on, Harold. Hold on, let me uh, try something real quick. Maybe having depth of field will help that. I'm just gonna turn everything on. Okay, now it's still doing that ghosting thing a little bit, but. Whatever. Let's go. Mr. Halibut. You'll need this before you go. Oh, uh, yes. Home. Yes, and only home. It's not valid for any other routes. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. And your tube pass should be unlocked again within 24 hours. So you'll be back to the luxury of fully automatic tube travel eligibility approval once again. I can't wait. Yeah, uh, yeah. So thanks, dude. Uh, oh, I'm gonna go. 
Every time I need you, Harold, it's something else. What's wrong with you? I can't handle your shenanigans while we're in the middle of this mess. I know, I know. I'm sorry. Next time... This must have an underlying cause. Hmm. I remember when you were still in school and your teacher telling me about how you would just stare out of the window, oblivious to her even shouting at you. It's like you've never slept out of that day. Oh, that like animated cardboard cutout. That's really nice. Hey, well, uh, uh, hold on. I'm... I can't hear you. I was never in a daydream, just the other stuff was boring. Harold, I'm not sure which is worse. The idea of you living with your head in the clouds or never being excited by life. Only boring people get bored. Eesh. I'm sorry, Professor. Damn. What? Huh? I, I guess, let's go! Let's go for a run, chat! <laughs> All water district, I guess. Oh, no, wait, that's where we are right now. Okay. I see. Alright. The central station. Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water tube system journey. You have arrived. The reason, sir, is that Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. The line temporarily. What's a lot going on here? What? Oh God! Why isn't the line active? What needs improving? A man has a right to know. I oh, the audio gets louder when you get near them. That decision-making process that led to this, sir. But I assure you, it will be for the good of your overall long-term tube traveling experience. So will we get discounts on the other lines as a result of the inconvenience? Ah. Oh. As of yet, there is no discount scheme in place. Scheme? As we calculated the possible inconvenience to be negligible. Wouldn't need a discount if the prices weren't so high in the first place. I can't comment on the pricing strategy, I'm afraid, sir. I'm just a travel secretary. So what can you comment on? I am authorized to comment on the nature of the tube closure, which is that all water have had to close the line temporarily for improvement works. Yes, you said that. Have these improvements been carried out before? I cannot say if the exact same optimization... Oh, I can still hear them when I go, that's cool. So what can you comment on? <laughs> I don't... I I'm like, I'm, I kind of want to keep playing this out. I can't comment on the pricing strategy, I'm afraid, sir. I think this is just going to keep looping. What's in here? Can I talk to your manager? Wait, oh my god, we have a lot of areas we can go to. Okay, well, let's check this last one before we move on. Hooray! Our character seems to be quite in love with his situation. I think we need to go to the lab district. What's the arcade? not accessible via your permission slip. And you know it. No, no. This location is not accessible. Okay. decided. Enjoy the view. We're going to chat. But Harold, I'm tired of chasing after you like you're a stupid butterfly. Hang on. What's a butterfly? That sounds silly. A butterfly is an insect from Earth. They had beautiful patterns on their wings and drank pollen from flowers. I suppose you could say they often appeared in, a uh, extra natural moments in life. On the other hand, they were terribly inefficient, flighty, overly trusting, and delicate. Uh, the bucket has stopped me! You never take responsibility, and I never know where to find you next. Oh yeah, Crunch, I can see that. Oh! Earthworm Jim is such a fun game. I love those first two games. Ooh, well, this place is nice. I know I drift off a bit sometimes, but... But all water raised the tube fares again, and they never announced it properly. This time, it really was an honest mistake. Plus, there was this woman who... Quiet, Harold. We don't have time for your flights of fancy right now. There's important work afoot. Oh, yeah. Have you checked the blockage in the filter <laughs> station glitch. yet? And did you need to feed the fish, too? Ah, uh, yes. Those, too. I'm on the case. Bye, Professor. <sighs> Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, uh, I'm sure 
those are all my tasks for the day. You seem to have waylaid your PDA. It really is a wonder you get anything done around here. Ah, thanks, Professor. It's got a life of its own. Strangely enough, I noticed you hadn't. Guy reminds you of Har uh, Javier Bardem. And I don't. I can see it. I can absolutely see again. it. Oh, thanks. Let's see. Uh, so I access the list. It'll come back to me. Just go to the four selection buttons. Okay. Um, where were they again? <laughs> the right of the pad. Ah, uh, yeah. Top of the four buttons, right? Cool. Oh. Then I use the navigation nub to highlight. We start taking people off the cattle the gun. Bottom button. Precisely. Okay, great. And it's the rightmost button to go back, right? Indeed. Now hop I've to it. I've played a video game. And I'll see you at the Agora Arcades when you're done. All right. So let's see here. Anything we can interact with in here? Well, I guess let's just get to this. Frat, it's out of food. Oh, of course, it wouldn't be that easy. Better ask Cyrus about this. Hmm. Ask Cyrus about fish food, of course, yes. What's out here? Oh, storage room. Really in love with the look of this game. This might be, like, this def- I'm already feeling like this is a game I'm gonna have to come back and revisit, like, when the full game comes out, because I really like this so far. And it's been a while since I played a good, like, game like this. Like, this is kind of like, like a, um, The Walking Dead Telltale game. It's been a while since I played a game like that. I like this little, uh, dinosaur-looking thing. Add-ons. Oh, my central torque, it's... Oh, look at this cool drawing we got over there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this this all makes sense. Yeah, and my doculates, they look good. All right, what about my space toast? Yo. Uh-oh. I think I broke my space toast. You can click out of it, what? Yo! This is the worst game I've ever played. All right, what about this? Size the guy to ask about fish food. Clean the filter station. Okay. Well, let's get to it, chat. Anything in my room I can interact with? I'm also trying to see, is there a button I can hit to... Oh. Oh, I can, I can zoom in and just be like, hmm, I'm thinking, hmm, no, nah, nothing, nothing in here. I just want to say, hold up. Like, obviously living down here with all this metal and shit would be miserable, but God, I would kill to have a bedroom with like a big aquarium set up in the wall, like looking down like that. That's so cool. Like, holy shit. That would be so fucking sick. That is like. That is like a dream room setup for me. Oh my god, he goes up the stairs like an insane man. I would love to have a fucking aquarium set up like that. Can I... Can I go in here? No? I don't, I don't think there's anything else of interest in here. Alright, I think we're done. In this room, at least. Oh, I just... I love aquariums. Oh, wait. He's got to get in position. Yes, I see. Uh, food. We'll get back to that. Let's 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 go look for Cyrus. Let's see here. Now, where can we find Cyrus? Oh. Ah, Harold. Perfect timing. 
Oh, Senor Tenenbaum, you too. I was just hoping to watch some Sun Tzu's Ash. Got any idea how to work the old telly? Yeah, I think it's one of those all-water ad-only models. Ah, should still be good for watching the announcement on tonight, though, right? Are you really gonna watch that? I'll just announce another tube price hike again. Well, who knows? Diego from Health Services said he heard something about the reveal of something important. So what's Sun Tzu's Ash? What is Sun Tzu's Ash? Yes! Sun Tzu's Ash. Eternal love. Best and only Turkish novella we have on board. I thought season 18 was bad, but with all the drama around Emery's cousin and whatnot. It's worth powering through to season 36 though. That's where the plot really begins. <laughs> I'll try to check it out sometime. Dude, the kid's so good around season 36! What brings you to the lounge, anyway? Will you guess that the tubes to the utility district and the social district are down again? Strangely, yes. I can believe that. Does that mean school is out? Yep. The Bambinos are happy, and I don't mind the time off. But if it goes on much longer, they'll forget everything. Won't they do their homework? Maybe. The whole social district is off limits right now. So at least there won't be much else for them to do. Is that why you're hanging out here? Mostly. It's just kind of cozy here though, you know? I suppose it is. Anyway, don't mind me, Harold. Bye, Chris. See you later, Harold. I'll be here if you want some company. He seems like a nice fella. The ads seem pretty good too. It's a lot. Of, why he goes down the stairs so insanely? It's not on that toilet. What is that? Not, not important is what it is. Oh wait, hold on. I can move, yo. I love little things like that. It's a little bit. That's a little attention to detail like that's the stuff that always gets me. Makes me really feel like the dev really wanted to get this world to feel, feel lived and feel real. Let's uh, let's go over here first. Can I go in this thing? No. Really beautiful set pieces too. Hello. Hey, Sai. Oh, hey, Harold. Uh, what's going? Uh, I mean, uh, how's up? Just doing my usual rounds. Trying to clean the fish and feed the filter station. Super nice. How are the fishies doing? They're swimming away, looking good. But there's no food left in the fish feeding machine. Ah, lovely. Yeah, I've been thinking about fish a lot recently. I've been wondering if, you know, even fish blood is such a good fertilizer for what the slow release phosphates and nitrogen, but we don't want to hurt fish. If samples were taken, we could somehow synthesize the- Sai, Sai, that sounds very interesting, but what about the food for the fish themselves? Hmm? Oh, yes, sorry, rat. Didn't I restock the other night? <sighs> Must have just thought about it. I'll have to formulate some more. You make the fish food yourself? Oh, I do indeed. I'm working on a new recipe at the moment, in fact. But, I mean, can fish even taste? It's not just about taste, it's about nutrition. We want their gills to function optimally, don't we? And their pigments to express as vividly as possible, a bit like flowers. Sigh, sigh. New fish food would be great. I'm sure they'll love it. Well, I'll get right on it. Promise. Yeah, I think I have a test batch. Uh, yep, yep. A uh, little taster to keep them going. Uh, you should try some too. Uh, thanks. Oh, yeah, I'll let me get, you know what let they get a bite of that. All right, we got our fish food chat. Oh. Did you see that? Was that fish real? Well, I'm not sure. I mean, even if it wasn't, their methods are getting way more sophisticated lately. Yeah. Mm, I kind of look forward to seeing what stunt they're going to pull next. Me too. As long as I don't have to clean it up. What do they Do mean? you remember their first messages? Ha, uh, yeah. Wasn't it something about Fedora not being able to take off being a conspiracy? Yes, on all those little flyers. 
and written too. What did that fish message mean, do you think? Hmm, I guess something about exploring the planet. Didn't it say what's out here? Ooh, like they've hidden something. Maybe they think the ocean is a conspiracy too? Interesting. Interesting. All right, well, we got food. Let's look on over here. We've learned about the light keepers. Wait, where's my notebook? Uh, oh, look, we got some more drawings. Oh, look, we, oh, we got drawn of the dude watching the TV. Oh, these are great drawings. All right. I do wish I could like make him do a little, a little bit more hustle going down these hallways. Nice little jog, maybe. Nope, not going in there. That little fella. He's just hanging out. He ain't doing nothing wrong. All right, to the filtration pumps. We gotta clean this out, chat. It's a lot of work, but you know what? I'm just the guy for the job. Yep, just as I thought. Yeah, we gotta get this over here. Yep, there you go. That's how it should be. And then this, we just gotta do this right here. Yeah, get that fully charged. Wait, no. Hold on, I thought I knew what I was doing. No, oh, I'm sorry. I had it set to off. I need to set it to on. That's my bad. And we fully charged. No, no, no. We want this. Fuck, I was wrong. Damn it. I'm so bad at this job. I'm trying, chat. Clean as a whistle again. Easy as pie. Wait, did that not update my to-do list, though? Okay, no, it, it did. Okay. Easy job. Damn, I wish my job was that easy. Streaming is the most hard job there is. <laughs> God, I don't want to get into that fucking stream. That, that stupid Twitter discourse. Alright, oh, the store's so close. What does that say up there? Just XL, nothing else. Thought might be there was some other words, but they're all blocked out. <laughs> the way he's... Oh, we're going up more stairs. The way sometimes his feet like bend like big old fucking clown shoes when he's going up them stairs. But yeah, this this might be a game I I revisit as a, a full stream game when the game comes out. We'll see, unless my opinion you know changes. I well, I'm gonna put this back up. I don't know what this is for. I think that might be me. I, th I think that's people food. That's that's me food. Oh, look at all the fish going over to the food. Oh, no, they're not going over the food yet. Little fishy, your little dishy is now served. There we go. Now nah, they're going over the food. Herald bot diagnostic report. Scanning. Scanning. All tasks completed satisfactorily. Enjoyment evaluation. Minimal. Energy levels depleted. Recharging required. Next destination. Agora Arcades. Oh my god, Harold. Shut up. <laughs> oh, Harold. You're such a dweeb! Alright. Well, chat, that's all of our tasks for the day. It's been a long day, but you know what? We did it. I wonder what's... now... What What's at the Agora Arcades, you think? You think there's actual arcade there? I know arcade has another meaning, but I've genuinely forgotten what it is. 
And it's probably that other meeting. I highly doubt it. it's just a big arcade. That'd be crazy. Agora Arcades, please. Ah, why isn't this working? So typical. I suppose the ticket reactivation is still going to take a while. Well, what do I do? I completed going to the Agora Arcades. Well, that was... I can watch the announcement on the TV in the lounge. Okay, well, let's do that. Well, just gonna hang out and watch some TV, chat. You know how it is. Nice relaxing day. Hello again. Hey, Chris. Ticket not working. Mind if I watch the announcement with you? Be my guest. Not that I actually live here. <laughs> oh, it's starting. We chose the stars. Not instead of the Earth, but because of it. We chose sacrifice and responsibility. Uh, well, we didn't, I guess. But our ancestors did. And we wouldn't be here if they hadn't. Left, I mean. We'd be back on Earth. And where would that have got anyone? We may not have ever seen our home. Ah, thank you, Praddy. Tasted its air or gazed across its boiling seas. But we remember it. And then we made a new home. Even if it wasn't quite what anyone had in mind. And one corporation over all others helped make that possible. All water. On that note, I'd like to introduce Madam CEO Brenna Castlejock. Good day to you all. As you may know, I am Brenna Castlechop, the CEO of All Water Corporation. More importantly, I think that's Brenna Castlechop. I'm a citizen of the Fedora, just like you. And it's my unmitigated pleasure today to show you what you're about to see. Join me in reliving and celebrating the remarkable journey we've been on together. Cut the garnet cut. Before we unveil the next step of that journey. I was say her hair it looks like, like a brownie. With one man, but it took a the hearts and break. minds of many more to make the dream a reality. That dream began at the height of the Cold War, when the world was on the very brink of annihilation. He conceived of an ark-like spacefaring ship, financed by the wealthiest countries, families, and private institutions such as the Schlippmeyer Foundation, as a gesture of global care for the human race. That ship journeyed for 200 years, was home to five generations, and sailed past many solar systems, making fascinating discoveries along the way, like the bacteria that are now responsible for our energy supply, or the mineral samples we took from planets along the way that allow us to build new materials. We had difficulties to deal with too, such as surprise asteroid fields, periods of hopelessness, and the unpleasant, albeit brief, alien infestation. <sighs> and of course, 120 years after launch, our last message from our beloved Earth in its final moments. After 200 years, we finally arrived at our destination, only to find that the promising, watery planet contained no habitable landmass and dense, toxic gases in the atmosphere. Hardly the second Earth we had hoped for. It wasn't long into our new search that the solar winds came. Maybe our ancestors couldn't have possibly known, or maybe they could, that they would cause our ship to crash, just like Icarus, but with worse luck. <laughs> Either way, we can be thankful for a soft landing and good waterproofing. Wasn't that a wild ride, huh? We've achieved so much aboard the Fedora, but we've never stopped thinking big. We had the idea to make sure we weren't missing out on anything going on outside. We're in a whole new galaxy, so we should be listening to see what the local news is. So we hatched a new plan. A state-of-the-art, deep space radio boy capable of keeping itself afloat and slowly circumnavigating our watery new home while scanning for signals and interesting cosmic gossip. And... Wait for it. Yes, we're delighted to announce it's floating to the surface right now. That's right. The boy will be in position in another few hours. 
big congratulations and thanks to All Water for making this possible. I'm excited to see what we pick up. That was some announcement, huh? Sure. Makes for some nice gossip. But I think they should fix the two. There'll be other life out there. Upgrade the TVs, eh? Before this fancy boy drama, eh? Yeah, that'd be nice. What, is your what if there really desire? is nothing else out there? Exacto mundo. We should be focusing on inner space before outer, huh? <laughs> yeah, man. Speaking of inner space, I hope the tickets are working again tomorrow. Che claro. At least I brought some homework to Mark. Those bambinos will forget everything at this rate. And you've got your trusty couch. Yep. We've gotten to know each other well. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get some sleep. Buona notte, Chris. Buona notte, Errol. Oh, I, I love this game, but I also feel bad because it's like, I, I feel like I, I don't have a lot to say because it's just like, I'm just trying to just enjoy the dialogue. Oh. The all water tube system will shortly be closing for the night. Please attend to the necessary travel arrangements. Get home safe. Well, I guess I'm going to bed. It's been a long day dealing with fines, damn it. I'm going to bed. Oh boy, what a day. Here's hoping tomorrow is a bit more relaxed. I could do with a day off. All this running back and forth for people is tiring, man. But, Agent Harrelson, that's what they pay you for. Don't let us down now. Alright, I'm curious where this is gonna go. Whoa! Oh my god. AC, I'm assuming that's after crash. 18,251 days. So I thought that was like a boom mic next to his bed. I was like, what is that? I was like, oh, it's just a weird little light. Well, another day, another dollar. Better go get some more fish food. Morning, Harold. Hello, Professor. What did you think of that announcement? Hello. It was quite fantastically self-aggrandizing. Yes, it did go on a bit. The boy seems cool, though. Indeed. I'm sure it will make a great source of distraction. Now, if you're quite ready... Sure. Um, ready for what? I made a breakthrough discovery at the Arboretum last night. Do you remember the last batch of bloomy rocks? Oh, the really small ones from the last intake? The ones with the strange shapes and the little holes and... The blue ones, yes. Turns out their surface composition doesn't just give us clues about our immediate aquatic environs. I think they've picked up some influences from outer space as well. Take a look through the microscope. You'll see what I mean. Just Ooh. remind me exactly how that thing works again. Harold, are you fooling me? This will be the last time I explain it to you, so for once, pay attention. You need to open the hatch first. God, Harold, how do you not know how to do nothing? Now, activate the switch next to the door to open the sample shelf. This, okay, I know this part. I did this before. I'll just give me a second. I gotta get in position here. I right, here we go. Look at all these samples. The rock you want is in the container on the lower right. You remember your left and right? Bring it to my Yes. My God, it's so loud. Check the microscope, and finally, you'll see what I mean. All right, all right, Doc. The one you're looking at now seems to have picked up radiation from our nearest sun. There's a particular mark for each time there's been a solar flare. I can only see one mark? That's the problem. There isn't enough of a recording on this one. I dated it to roughly 40 BC. So we need an older one for... Exactly. Older ones, ideally. Although I doubt we'll have much luck catching more of them by chance. Oh, yes. We have to figure out when there's going to be a gap between flares. Flares cause the solar winds. 
A gap between solar storms is our only window for leaving this place. I need you to look into this, Harold. If anyone on board has an older rock, we need it procured. Yes? But if we're look, not look rocks, you got it. One, where am I supposed to start looking? You could start at Tommy's store. You and I both know that guy somehow gets hold of whatever those filter stations spit out and then sells them at an outrageous markup. <laughs> Good evening, oh, oh, John. Uh, hello. Nice to see you, Bridget. Is the sample in the microscope? I'm really curious to inspect it. Yes, you definitely should. Am I playing the fish game? I haven't. I, I don't know what that means yet. I mean, I, there's that. We fed some fish. How you doing, Sanji? Hey. Hey, you are the professor's assistant, Jeremy, right? Um, yes, but no. I'm Harold Halibut. I interned in your section for about a year. Now he's called Harold oh, Halibut. Goodness, your microwave. Not Harold the fish. So you well, I can see how you can find that confusing. Yes, how could I forget that debacle? Actually, I've just met with your professor. Is everything okay? Not entirely, but I probably shouldn't be telling you. Okay. Huh? Wait, what? Huh? But what do you mean? I suppose if Moreau trusts you, I'm a bit worried about our ship's energy reserves. I thought I'd talk to your boss about it. She's the smartest person on board, isn't she? Did you guys talk about those crazy rocks? <laughs> Did you guys talk about the bloomy rocks at all? Moreau said I should maybe check with your husband. As a matter of fact, we did. As for my husband, you'll have to ask him, which is more than I've been able to do the past few days. Knowing that infuriating rock collection, I'm sure he'll find you something. He's a sweetheart, really, you know? Go ask him. And so, uh, tell me about r reserves. What is this? We're all gonna die, chat! Reserves? Are we in some kind of trouble? Now I've said too much. Ask Moreau. Perhaps she'll tell you more. See you later. Bye, Richard. She tells me that I'm like, oh, wait, really? And she's like, oh, God, I fucked it. Oh, God. So... Now I ask, what is it? Uh, yeah. So... I'm so used Richard to reading these out. I'm not used to my character actually it? saying it. And to ask you about it. Any idea what she meant? Hmm. Yes, she mentioned she may have found a link between something in the water and our solar wind problem. It's speculative, and now isn't the time. That all? No, it's okay. Oh, no, it's oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'll be off. Be good, Harold. Well, I should be louder than the game. But, I mean, is the, the game's audio is quiet. I could turn it up a little bit. There we go. Because the, the the noise in the background is mostly just ambient noise, so it's kind of hard to tell right now, but it's it's been turned up. Check our to-do list. Oh, look at look at the fish having a lovely little dinner. Search for the blue rock. Go to Tommy's general store. At the, okay, we're going to the arcades. Harold, when you see Cyrus, could you give him a message for me? Sure thing, Professor. Just ask him how are the you tell me this a second ago? Along? Okay. I will ask him, but um Yes, yes, I know. I could ask him myself, uh, but didn't you stop to wonder why I don't want to? I just did stop to wonder. It's complicated, okay? We go back a long way and don't always see eye to eye, especially on matters of categorization, nomenclature, and subsequent archiving methodology. Not that he ever saw fit to delineate his preferred... <laughs> Don't mind me, Harold. I, I, I get it, Professor. Cyrus has his stubborn phases, and I just can't talk to him when he's in one. Okay, say no more. Your message is safe with me. Actually, Harold... No, it's okay. Nothing. Run along now. Alrighty, well, I've got to go. So peaceful in here. Foreshadowing? No, no, nothing's wrong. You're crazy. I believe Cyrus is all the way down here, so I guess let, let's go pay Cyrus a visit first. Let me do my crazy stair walking. I love. It. God, I wish I had like a little, a little jog or something. Oh wait, yeah, there we go. I, dude, I tried that before. I swear I couldn't do this before. 
Go, Harold! Go, Harold! Wait a second, Cyrus isn't in here! He should be at the energy district. Fuck! Go, my boy! Go, <laughs> go Harold! Go! Can, it, can I go up the stairs fast? <laughs> yeah, yeah, look at him go! Alright, well... I suppose let's, uh, let's do that first then, and then we'll head to the arcade. Gotta do our side quests. Destination selected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. Yay! We may now exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation. Contaminants detected. Please do not panic. I'm, I'm okay, chat. Don't worry about it. All right, so these seem to be more of these rock things or whatever we've been collecting. What's that say up there? Oh my god, it was like the motion blurring or whatever. So, yeah, I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Can I go in here? Nope, we ain't going in there. Well, got a little door over here. There you are, Sai. Hold on, I want to stand over here. Hello, Sai. How's it going? Oh, it's been tough, Harold. Every detail has a detail. It's like this filigreed... No, oh, uh, it's good you're here, actually. Yeah? What do you need? Well, I'm having a bit of difficulty with a 3D printer. It's leaving gaps everywhere. Oh, okay. Shall I take a look? Yes, please. But I hope you're better with technology than you are with the ladies. Um, I hope so, too. Anyway, see if you and your screwdriver <laughs> can get this printer its third dimension back. Well, yeah. Let's let's look at this. You have to undo the screws first to remove the front panel. Oh my god! Look at the hand! Oh my god! This is great. Oh, there's so many of them. Do I need to get this one too? Oh, I'm, I'm gonna be all up in this thing. Ooh, something happened then. Uh, keep going. <laughs> I'm doing it. It's it's working. Ooh, I think you're nearly there. <laughs> yeah, right. This guy kind of sounds like Dan McNeely. Uh, Cyrus, that is. Am I Dan McNeely? Never gonna find. I know, right? You gotta put those things in, like a little bowl or something. I see a big button. Is that the thing I'm looking for? Oh, that doesn't look good. I think I might have found an issue here. But you know, I'm just gonna keep removing everything just for fun. I don't know what that big circle on that part's for. That just. Seems to be for decoration, as far as I can tell. Now, do you see that hole? Hole? Uh... Oh. That? No. Hole? Do you mean... Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, Harold. I couldn't <laughs> resist. <laughs> Such Ow. Ow. Sai, was the printer even broken? Mm, maybe, maybe. If it's any consolation, I discovered this little trick the hard way. Ow. Why didn't you just fix it then? Well, where would the fun have been in that? I'm not sure I'd like your idea of fun. It's because mm, of dick. Funny. Sunny says the same thing to me. But I guess she didn't like your idea of fun either, eh? Ow. Think of it as a wake-up call, Harold. Yeah, a little extra juice. Oh, that reminds me. Moreau asked me to ask you, how are the details coming along? Oh, thanks, Harold. Just like her to ask that. Huh. Is it? <laughs> um, anyway, 
See you next time, Sai. Come on. We were waiting for those details for ages. Where are they? Where are they? Oh, look, we got a new doodle. I, uh, Harold, uh, oh. one more thing. What is it, Sai? Could you take Maro a message? Oh, God damn it. I suppose. Is it just going to be like hers? No, 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 nothing like that. It's something definitely unrelated. So, what's the message? Oh, okay, fine. You got me. Happy? Just tell her procedure smeager and that she puts the why are you in Cyrus. I don't know that's such a good idea. I mean, what is this whole thing about exactly anyway? She started it. Back in the days, we were both part of the Archive Club. She was always so darn keen to throw away all the rules and invent new archiving procedures. She called it a healthy distrust for calcified mental models. But all it did was stop us ever getting anything done. So, you disagreed about archiving? Precisely. But it was fundamental. I mean, we respected each other's work, but there was this deep difference. And I guess neither of us was willing to budge. So, what did you decide about the archives? That's not important anymore. Come on, man. Sometimes you don't need to reinvent the wheel. Okay. So, no message for her? Nah, <sighs> just tell her I say hi. She'll know what I mean. Okay. Catch you later, sign. I guess we got another mission, chat. Take many message. All right, <laughs> let's go. We got that strut. We out of here. Please halt for your continued inspection. Inspecting. 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 No contaminants detected. All right, we're good. I'm leaving. Well. Okay, I guess we're going back home to talk Relax. to Mar what's his name, Moreau? Like the island of Doctor? You're here. Thank you for choosing all water. Go, 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 go. You and your buddy? Oh no. We guarantee you'll feel an ocean of difference. I just want to, you know, have a little sit down, watch the TV, maybe a little bit. Oh my god. These are great you fake ads. So sparkly, someone's gonna try and steal you. Do you sometimes see your grandchildren? Oh, I love it. And it's like you see through time to when your children were little. Do you look into the mirror and wonder Alright, well let's go deliver this message. Someone will try to steal you. Alright, oh god, are you fucking not okay, so I was like she's not fucking here. Hey, Professor. Got a message from Cyrus for you. Out with it, then. He says... Hi. Hi? Just hi? Yeah, just that. He said you'd know what it means. He's a sly one sometimes. I'll give him that. Stubborn as a mule. What's a mule? Oh, don't you start, Harold. Leave me be. I've got to think of a comeback. I mean, get some important work done. <laughs> These Jetsons ass, like, objective noises. Alright, let's finally go to the arcade. The Agora Arcade, so maybe it's gonna be... Maybe lots of beautiful trees there. Location nominated. Journey commencing. All water thanking you. Thank you for traveling with all water. Utterly unconcerned for your own safety, no respect for authority, wanton disregard for the future of humanity. Harold, 
good timing. You can explain things to the Major, can't you? Harold, come here and explain things. And yourself. Major, I'm just passing through. I really don't know what this is about. Hi, Felix. So you're not here to make excuses for this diminutive delinquent? Hey, I'm not diminutive. I've just got longer to live than you. And Harold, <laughs> tell him about our plan. Harold! I thought I told you to stay out of trouble. I should have known you'd be wrapped up in this. I, I got no idea. Trouble. There is no plan. Are you questioning my authority? Oh god, we have time dialogue. I literally merit. just put the controller down when that happened. No, Major. I... If I find out you're a bad influence on young Felix here. Not me, Major. Whatever Felix did, I'm sure it was meant innocently. And how would you know about that? Unless you're in league with him. I just meant... I should be a bit I mean, hard on him. If you just relax. Relax? Harold, you're really starting to tweak my beak. Uh, but, oh, but, fuck. What did Felix do anyway? Utterly unconcerned for his own safety. No respect for authority. Wanton disregard. Anyway, Major, under whose jurisdiction is Harold in trouble? Mine. I'm the law here. Felix, will you be a witness to this? Absolutely. And can you testify to Harold's involvement? Only if he's willing to testify to mine. Harold, tell the truth now. It'll be easier in the long run. I haven't witnessed anything to testify. Damn it. Then the case is in danger of <laughs> What is apart. happening? I'm sure Felix's parents will deal with this. Good point. They should really be present while you question me, Major. I'm only a minor. Don't you throw the book at me, son. Where are they anyway? I don't know. And good luck finding them. Oh no. Felix, have you lost them? Harold, leave this to the professionals. Felix, do you mean to tell me you've neglected to file a missing person or persons report? Shouldn't we look for them? Don't change the subject. But Major, what is the subject? That's right, Harold. Know your rights. If, and I mean if, you're acting as some kind of heroic big brother figure to this young man, I expect you to be a positive influence. I, we, there's no... Come on, spit it out, man. Just leave me alone, Sandstrom. I've got fish to feed. Okay, Harold, but your fish won't save you if I catch you red-handed. Now, Felix, where is Felix? Oh, no. Felix? Harold, you've lost him. Ah, oh, fucked it up again. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, okay. Oh, he's standing in the door. I can't leave. Oh, no. Is he following me? What's he doing? Oh, no. He just... He said, I broke for a second. Oh, fuck. Oh, I've ruined it all again. It's one of these guys. Hello, Mr. Secretary. Uh, eight, right? I'm afraid not. You must be thinking of my brother, Secretary 8. Or Secretary 24, of course. Oh, sorry. I always get that mixed up. There are just three of you, right? Well, now, uh, three of us work for Old Water, yes. Oh, so there's another who doesn't? Hmm, yes, Secretary 8 is the man to ask about that. He remembers it all much better than I do. Remembers? Okay, sounds serious. Anyway, I'm neglecting my post. Welcome to the Agora Arcades. Would you like to partake in the monthly All Water Raffle Bonanza? Oh, sure. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Is it free to enter? Certainly. The raffle is a generous gesture of frivolity from All Water to you, the citizens of Fedora. Oh, okay. What are the prizes? Well, there's a long list of luxuries, a plethora of pleasurable prizes. The full list can be perused at your leisure on the All Water Public Access Forum. Okay, I'm ready. I'll just spin her up. Drum roll, please. And... Looks like you were unlucky this time, but that's life. Try again next month. Oh... Chat, we didn't win. All right, hold up. Speak to se secretary number 17. Hmm. But where's secretary eight? I don't know. Reload. Fuck! No, cheese, no! I can't, we can't. Oh, whoa. Listen to this music. 
Well, this place is nice. Wait, hold up. John Slippy Jr. Yes, Slippy's Devil Black Diamond deals are now on for one day only. Don't sleep on Slippy's exclusive new campaign launch event. Visit Slippy's today. Gertrude's Beer Zone. Mmm. Oh, wait. The door's over here. Oh, let me just push that open. What do you think about the announcement, then? Well, I think it sounds exciting, Alon. You think everything sounds exciting? Well, that new boy thing and all. Might give us something boy new thing. to natter about. That new boy, Zim? What's it gonna pick up, anyway? Alien radio drama? Not sure, Alon. Maybe we'll get some fancy pictures. Seems to me be more interesting to go sideways than back up top. You're going sideways, Alon. Right you are, Zim. It's all this sitting around nattering with you. So many colorful characters in this town. With all their kooky dialogues. Hey, Tommy. I don't suppose you'll be back in the shop soon? <sighs> or, I mean, I can come back later? Oh, uh, no. What do you need? It's just that the professor and I need some sea rocks. I mean, filter rocks from older times that have come from the filters. And I feel like you might have one? Shh, quiet! Don't be mentioning Filter Frankie! You know that every piece of my inventory is legally obtained, or, or legally found, right? Right, sure. That's why I'm here. To legally acquire an item of yours that you may have. Okay, look and listen here, Longy Long Pants. I shut the store for a reason, you know? Oh man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call you Longy Long Pants just Oh, then. sorry. I went too sure far that time. Oh, fuck. Come back another time? It's fine. I'm just feeling sorry for myself. I've got this gut feeling that my beautiful angel wife don't care about me no more. Oh. No, I know. I'm oversharing again. Tommy, you gotta stop oversharing. Look, kid, either way, I'm not gonna be of any help to you today. Ah, uh, if you're sure. Yeah, you just caught me on a blue note, that's all. She's been spending so much time with that beautiful chunk of marble. You know, the guy in the silk robe and the flowing locks? Hmm. Well, we should probably check on Brigitte. Let's go to Slippy's though. Ooh, winter sports goods. Ooh, I do love winter sports goods. You're cool, so be cool all of the time with my patented Consta Cool fabrics. So you see, that's the Slippy difference. And if you just watch this exciting infomercial, ah, uh, Harold, if it isn't my favorite multi maintenance man. Wait, are you sure I can't interest you in. Oh, never mind. Hello, how's business? You're an everyman, right? I've made a new ad, and I need your opinion. I mean, I think it's great, but maybe it's too high concept. Oh, well, I'm not really qualified to... Nonsense! Just watch! I was trying to read a book in the comfort of my own home, but my own home wasn't comfortable. It was too hot I think to we can all relate to this. Will I ever be able to read to my children? Or enjoy the adventures of the fedora. Oh yeah, she's I know exactly what you mean. Chair again. Why yes, of course you will. Yeah, with like the slightly chubbier little like guy with the mustache. Yeah, I know you're talking about. You'll always be able to keep your brain, books, and body sweat free and as cool as Jimson Jameson himself. Jimson Jameson. Please note, Slippy's aircon system is not officially endorsed by the creators of the Fedora Four or their likenesses. Burr. Sometimes I just can't get cozy. How's a man supposed to look after his family with cold arms? <laughs> My family are depending on me. What am I going to do? Clad yourself in one of our triple insulating cozy jackets and matching thermal underwear, of course. You know what they say, warm hands, warm hearts. Slippies means heritage. I'm the latest in a long <laughs> tradition of winter sports enthusiasts. Slipmires throughout history have kept everyone from royalty to the common man warm and cozy in their this pursuits is amazing. of the great outdoors. 
Schlippies means social responsibility. The Schlippmeyers were one of the most generous sponsors of the Fedora One project, giving back to the people, sharing their knowledge of insulation technologies and considerable wealth to keep humanity warm and cozy among the stars. Remember, you deserve to live and work at whatever temperature is right for you. With over 200 years of expertise, you can bet the weather forecast shows slippies across the board. Come in out of the cold and into slippies. Slippies, heat protection so good, it'll be a cold day in hell. <laughs> That's an amazing tagline. Uh, yeah, let's go, let's go with the first one. Um, it was, there were lots of things, and, uh... Great, so glad you agree. And while you're here... I was just going... Ah, oh, come on, you can't go without testing my new half-pipe experience. Yo! Improved by a little modification to my patented aircon system that I'm calling the Freezer! Is that... do I have to... I'm glad you asked. It combines precise atmospheric condition synthesis with the ski sim to recreate the most lifelike experience of skiing you can dream of. That sounds, uh, wait, me? Skiing? But I don't- Nonsense, I'm sure you're a natural. Now let's get you strapped in. Well, okay. Whoa, dude! Uh, whoa, I'm doing it! Whoa! <laughs> oh, Harold, you were really blown away by it, huh? First time's the hardest. It's all downhill from there. <laughs> I guess I'm slippy by name, but you're slippy by nature. <laughs> I guess so. I'd really better go now. Sure, sure, but just so you know, I run a pretty generous referral scheme if you're interested. For every I'll customer I'll call you their, get. their thing Dash. schemes. Okay, Harold. Be skiing ya. God. Oh, I love that guy. I love Slippy. Remember all water. Wait, is that potions, potions, and magic? Can we go in there? Oh, come on. That's the that's the number one store I want to go into. I want to go to potions and potions of magic. For the journal store, intercom oasis. This one's also pretty good. Oh my god, they do have an arcade here. Oh hey, Rafi. Hmm, Harold. Is everything okay? The tube route to the school and the social what distance game was that? is out. Oh. Right. Makes sense. Annoying. That's not what's annoying. Oh? Kids. Everywhere. All the time. No school means no peace. You're just hanging around. Taking space. Playing all the arcades. Oh dear. But isn't that what this place is for? Kind of? Oh. <laughs> Good luck. Just the dead, st the stare of death, my god. She's like, shut the fuck up. Whoa. Whoa! Oh my god, wait, I can play- oh, okay, hold on, wait, this is sick. Yo, I love Star Fox. Ah! Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. Let's shut up! Shut up! Uh, it's hard to see the perspective here, okay? I'm, dude, I'm killing it now, though. Oh. Uh huh? What's going on? What is this angle? Ah! Oh! Ah, oh, Harold, you fucked it all up. Alright, what's this? Doppeldecker. Oh, yeah. Dude, I've... Dude, I need to find the Doppeldecker OST. It's a fucking banger. Who's that over there? I didn't mean to back out, but whatever. 
Hi, kids. What's up? Hey there. The name is Eve, not there. Oh, sorry, Eve. Can I help you, is Mister? That you that? Okay. No, just came to visit Rafi. What you playing? Oh, some game. I'd rather be reading, but here we are. What do this you kid's like not real. Anything really, you know? At the moment, hegemony and the pan liberalism agenda of agnostic psychopolitic, mostly. That's a book. Yes. Say, did you know Captain at Large Burnout holds the high score in this game? No, that's cool. I always wondered what those initials at the top of the leaderboard meant. Yeah, well. <laughs> <see> <laughs> okay, bye. Ah, let's move it, Harold. Oh, Ona. Hey, how is it going, Harold? Not too shabby, thanks. How about you? I'm super, actually. I found a book. Oh, cool. Ooh. What kind of book? It was just discovered. A book written on Earth. <gasps> Nobody on the station has read it yet. Apart from me. Wow, what's it about? Stick around and you'll find out. My newest performance piece is a reading of it. Oh, nice. Which part? All of it, Harold. All of it. Without interruption. It's gonna be a wild ride, so buckle up. Wow, okay. Good luck. I love this dude's get up, his little one man band set up. Oh my goodness! Hey, buddy. Oh, hey, Harold. Don Matrix, thank you for the raid! How about that? Hope you're having a good one. Thank, thank you so much. What yeah, were you up to? Really something. Oh, hey, Oshi. It sure was. Let me give you a shout I out try there. Try not to busy myself with those kinds of affairs. I'm just happy you're joining in for the station jog. The jog? Uh, I, I have. Oh, okay. Wait. Sanji promised me he'd San, be San, San, to it. Thank you, Sanji. Now we've really got a jog team on Sorry. our hands. I wish. Oh, I we're in the middle of this dialogue. Nice. But thank you so much for no sending your your you, lovely chat my way. But why don't you keep me company until Chris arrives? Okay, that's. <laughs> we're in the middle of a very dialogue-heavy scene, so. It's, oh, it's I'll introduce myself in just a moment, chat. I apologize. Being out, so but I thank you so much. Really oh, you're watching Nimona? Oh, I've been hearing really good things so about that. Restless. I hope oh, thank you for the follow. That's very kind. You have the arcades to jog around. Yep. Very nice. And Chris can't get to the school for the same reason. So at least we'll have plenty of time to work out together. That young man is almost as fit as me. Why do I feel like I'm the odd one out? Whoa, oh, hey, oh, Chris. Oh, oh Miss Alexis, thank you for the fall as well. That's my motto. Harold, won't you stay? The jog team oh, thank won't you be so the same much. without you. Yeah, venga, Harold. You can't leave now, I just got here. Jog team, jog team, jog team. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, there we go. We got a break now. I got so distracted there. All right, let's see. <clears throat> so, yeah, thank you so much for sending your lovely chat my way. I, my name is Cashy Cakes. I'm a variety streamer. I stream all kinds of games from obscure little weird indie games to modern AAA releases. Just whatever the mood strikes me. And today I've just been doing kind of a bit of a grab bag stream, checking out a bunch of random little indie games. Mostly some horror stuff, but this this game's not a horror game. And oh yeah, I, I did see that Nimona got dropped on YouTube. I've, I've been meaning to check it out myself. I, I, yeah, I've been hearing nothing but amazing praise for it. Yeah, thank you so much for the raid. I hope you all had a lovely time watching it. I hope you're all having a lovely day, and I hope to be able to continue to entertain you. And so, yeah, let's get... This is a game called Harold Halibut. It's a kind of like a weird dystopian future where we're like on a spaceship that was traveling through space, crash landed on this planet made purely of water, and now it's been like a over, what was it, 18,000 days since the crash? It's been a long time. And we're playing as incredibly inept Harold Halibut. Alright, I'll go. I, I think they're inviting me to do something. I, I was very distracted. Oh shit, Oshi. I'm definitely going to have to check it out then. Um, Hope you've been doing well. Okay. Go jog team. Come on. Oh, wait for me! Guys. Oh. Guys. Oh god, they're so fast, chat. Oh my god. Go on. 
with well, I thought I was fit. Oh. Right. I'm almost there, guys. Just, just one second. Good show, Harold. How's everyone feeling? Oh. I think that was a new personal best for me. Fine. Fine. Thanks, buddy. How do you both keep so fit? Oh, you know me, Harold. I've been running around this station for years. But I keep up my reputation for same-day service after all. Healthy body, healthy mind. That's what keeps me going. Gotta set a good example We're for those sculpted. lazy students <laughs> of mine, too. <laughs> That's good. Have you got any tips? I, yeah, I've been really enjoying this game so far. The writing is really good. You never know when you'll have to slow down. So keep going while you can. I will say this is just a demo, and the demo is available on Steam. It's, you just look up Harold Halibut on Steam, you can play the demo yourself. It's been really enjoyable so far. I've been saying that I, I really like this far. I'm almost certainly going to be checking out the full version of the game when it comes out. Like, Harold's just very awkward, and like, he's trying, but he's just... Oh, he's, he's just... he's so inept. I, oh my god, oh shit, he does have a bit of a Xavier vibe to him, doesn't he? <laughs> Reminds you of Thunderbirds, oh shit. Hello. Yeah, Talking about Thunderbirds the other day. Welcome to the fish fish hut. Sample our homegrown fedora fish or our freshwater catch of the day. What's the catch of the day today? Today, we have the great spotted super grouper. It sounds tasty, but just out of interest, is that a native fish? Hard to tell, man. The only issue I've had with this you game know, is sometimes I feel like the background music is a little too loud compared to the voices. During the crash. So we don't know if they thrive in the ocean or even intermingle with native species. But we can guarantee that fresh super grouper taste you know and love. Oh, I love me some super grouper. Oh yeah, also, uh, Harold makes these beautiful drawings as we progress through the game. Mm, look at all those fish. <laughs> That'd be good. Super graffiti on the wall. It's an eyesore. Please clean it. Oh, man. I gotta, now I have a new job to go clean some graffiti. Damn it. I should have checked my messages. Yeah. So we gotta check on Vegit and clean it. We gotta clean the graffiti and speak to secretary number eight. Yeah, we don't know where secretary number eight is though. The music in this game's also been really good. It's mostly just atmospheric, but it's very nice. What the fuck is this statue? This looks like a lovely little shop. All right, well, I think we're done in here. Let's head on out. You missed, there's an amazing sequence in the shop with this guy, Slippy, where he shows you his latest ad and it's so good. This game has some really good, some really good little bits of humor. Okay, we can't go in that one. We gotta get out of here. All right, uh, Central Station, maybe? All water. Moving people every day. Oh, well, thank, make, ah, thank you, Mystical Alexis. I hope you have a lovely day, too. We know you enjoy... Yeah, the whole vibe of this game is fantastic. Water. You're welcome. Oh, hey, who's this? Hold on, I need to get into talking position. Here we go. Hello, this is how you talk to short people. Are you lost? You could call me Lise. And no, I'm just waiting for someone. Oh, is Lise like a combination of Little and Miss? No, stupid. It's <laughs> my name. Oh, Harold. What's your name? It's Harold. Nice to meet you. Is Harold like far and old combined? Got him. I suppose it is, actually. Can you just leave me alone? I'll go <laughs> danger, danger if you don't. Okay. Bye, Lise. Oh, oh, Harold. Oh, went into the wall a little bit. Ah, uh, hello there. Secretary 8? Oh, this That's is 8. me, sir. Can I help you get where you're going? That's okay. I was actually wondering... 
Well, I've been speaking to your brothers. Oh, how nice. Which ones? Mr. 17 and Mr. 24. Well, I didn't speak to Mr. 24 about that, but... Ah, yes. Yes, good, loyal, all-water employees both. I dare say I've been a good influence. Although even my shining example couldn't extend to him. So, he's <sighs> the fourth brother. What happened to him? Oh, <clears throat> I do apologize. I've got to see to, uh, matters. But I'm sure 24 can help with your inquiries. He has a better grip on the whole sordid affair than I do. Okay, Mr. 8. Oh, wow. Where was 24? I think he's over in this area. I think so. Yeah, they all want a district. Okay, yeah. Compliments you on your choice of destination. We ride the tubes. Wee! All water. We get you where you're going. We get you where you're going. Okay, I can't sprint here. Okay, that would explain. I tried it earlier, chat. I tried sprinting, but I guess there's just some areas where you can't. Oh, you know, we didn't look around here before. Oh shit. Wait, uh, where, where does this go? We didn't go down here before. Oh, this is all new. What? It's the back rooms. Oh, God. Uh, hey, man. It's that guy from the TV. I mean, hey, at least he gets that beautiful view when he goes up. Hello, citizen. Oh, hey, Captain at Large. Call me Zoya, please. What can I do for you? Just doing my rounds. Do you need anything? Me? No, I'm doing great. Oh, that's you good. You really pulled it off, eh? Oh, do you want some help putting it back on? Uh, uh, <laughs> no, the announcement. Wasn't it epic? And don't you think I did pretty darn well? Uh, yeah. There were lots of announcements. And I like the bit where you... Ah, yes. That was a nice touch, wasn't it? Maybe <laughs> people will see that I can be useful now. That I can lead. Take destiny in my own hands. Destiny? Yes, destiny. Oh, speaking of which, I must get back to work. I've got an important new announcement to work on for Madam CEO. Thanks for stopping by. Madam CEO? Oh, I see. Very important. I shouldn't interrupt, chat. We should... Look, what's over here? Okay, never mind. We can't go that way. I'd love to look at this little bird. Alright, well, uh... Sorry, buddy, but I need to go back down. I should, I should go back to Harold's room and uh, show you guys the beautiful setup he has. I still think it would be amazing to have in a room like... Oh, it would be so expensive to get something like that built, but goddamn, I would love it so much. That aquarium just hanging over the bed, basically. Welcome. I am All Water Automated Secretary Number One. How may I assist your All Water related learning? Whoa, wow, wow. Okay, we have a lot of stuff here. Tell me about All Water Time introduction. Eight years ago, our illustrious and suave CEO, Brenner Castlechop, made the. Oh, that's great. He's being projected on. I thought he, it was like a hologram in the, in the cutout. He's being projected on there, and Harold's blocking it. Oh, that's so cool. A ship wide, perfectly synced system that ensures people are always in time, on time together. In a remarkable gesture of generosity, Fedorans were given the opportunity to exchange their old clocks and watches for free. An offer most people took up and thoroughly enjoyed immediately. There were a few skeptical holdouts, but they were eventually won over by peer pressure. Usually annoyed friends having to do the math when arranging a meetup time. As well as the generous tube system and other such all water service vouchers offered to them. Yeah, it's so good. When was All Water founded? The Municipal Freshwater Clarification Agency was formed just after the crash, but it was rebranded to All Water in 12789 AC, just prior to the introduction of the transportation tube system. 
return to the Fedora. So what exactly does All Water do? All Water Corporation is dedicated to making the lives of Fedorans easier, more pleasurable, and more sustainable. Major services include regulation of the ship's day-night cycle, the tube transportation system, organizing the monthly All Water Ball, Ooh, the All Water Ball, balancing the energy budget, and overseeing the ship's water supply and filtration systems. All Water is also invested in exciting new science initiatives, some or all of which may be strictly confidential at this time. <laughs> Please check with your nearest All Water Secretary about the status or indeed existence of such initiatives. Can you tell me about the current CEO? CEO Brenna Castlechop began her All Water career at the age of 16. She graduated from her internship to a full-time position after she devised a mathematical theory to reduce the calculations needed to make different electronic systems communicate with one another. These improvements would eventually become the basis for the ship's current internet system, architected by temporary all-water employee, a redacted, codenamed <laughs> Dr. Computer. <laughs> that delivery on redacted time, was really good. The Schlippmeyer family and the Freshwater Clarification Agency were engaged in a dispute over the ship's water supply, the former holding a chemically-based freeze filtration system over the current but outdated machinery. Castlechop wrote a proposal to improve the existing system by overhauling its connected mechanics which led to all water being able to reject the Schlittmeyer's costly license fees. Her expertise, including her initiative to renew the physical connection between water reservoirs, filtration systems, and the various districts, eventually evolved into the tube transportation system and saw her promoted to sub-chief of the directive branch. God, she's done a lot, huh? She finally became CEO in 13152 AC after widespread pressure throughout the organization on the incumbent CEO, Dr. Rufus Bureaucratze. Oh my god. To finally step down and let the Wonderkin to take charge of all water at last. Damn. Bye. The All Water Corporation wishes you a pleasant day. Alrighty. Oh, we got a little open door over here. What's this? I can't, I can't, I can't do my little jog here, chat. I like this. Oh, okay, that's here. There you are. But looking for you. Mr. 24. Hi. Mr. Halibut. So, I was just talking to your brother, Secretary 17. I mean, and <laughs> it was funny. Actually, at first I thought he was your other brother, 8. I'm sure he found it just as hilarious as I do. Do you need something? <laughs> Only that when I spoke to 8 about what 17 said, he said to speak to you about what happened with your fourth brother. Ah, yes. Our wayward Warren, the fourth brother who went his separate way, choosing a life of gastronomical frivolity over contributing to society with all water. Oh, I see. Are you ashamed of him just because he didn't follow you all into working for the corporation? Is that why none of you like to talk about him? Actually, he tried, but he didn't pass the entrance exam. We suspect his heart wasn't really in it. We used to do everything together, and we were supposed to stick together. But he didn't study enough, and now... Yes, what does he do now? <sighs> Last I heard, Warren had started a food stall. I don't want to think about it. Okay, well, thanks for telling me about him. I'll leave you be. Interesting. Might be that little food stall we saw at the top right. What do we got here? <laughs> oh, that's not. That's lease. How do I find out what it is? Hmm. And now we gotta go back to the well. I think we need to go to the lab anyways for talking to Brigitte. And then there's apparently some graffiti there where we gotta clean up. Damn it. Anything else in here of note to look at? Can we go over to this door maybe? Look at that lovely real plant. Nope, oh, can't go in there. Well, looks like we're done here, chat. That's a really neat effect. I love the aesthetic of this game. All right, back to the tubes.
travel in style with all water. All water. Whee! Unsatisfactory journey for some reason? Just contact your nearest and all water will make it up. <laughs> I forget. Oh, we can't go in there. Oh, okay, never mind. Wait, 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 hold up. Wait, who's who the fuck this? Oh, they're asleep. We can't talk to them, chat. They sleepy. Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water tube system journey. You've Was I supposed to talk to Cyrus? Or did I already do that? Okay, no, I think that's up. That's all. Alright, where's this fucking graffiti? Dagnabbit! Who's graffiti? What? Where's home? What? Graffiti. Grumpf. What good is asking where is home anyway? Where else are we gonna go? Could they just leave some notes around? I wonder if this is the light keepers again, or just someone copying their style. Will they ever reveal themselves? Oh, what are you grab? What are you grabbing there, Harold? Just reached. You reached near the bucket. Oh shit! Wait, I'm gaming. Oh, let's go. Yeah, yeah! Oh, this is great, I love this. Let me, just, let me just wipe that up. Yeah, there we go. Oh, this is gonna look so good, chat. Little circles, little circles there. I like how far he leans over before he moves as well. There we go, just make sure we get all of it. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. I think there's a little spot right there I missed. Oh, yep, yeah. gotta get that. What, no, I'm not done! I'm not done. Excuse me. That there's, oh, that, oh, they're going to get so mad at, Harold, they're going to get so mad at you. You got to finish it, dude. Also, I can't jog in here either. Would you get around here? Is she in here, maybe? Where the fuck is she? Hey, you, just, you know where she went? Professor? Harold, I'm quite certain you don't have the rock yet, and I'm busy. Just let me know when you found it. Oh, she's so mean to me. All right, well, she was here when I was here originally. Well, uh, she might still be in the area, probably, then. I don't know where else she would be. I don't... I don't think she was in the energy area. Just drinking in the beautiful bathroom. Let's see, maybe over here? You in the bathroom? Nope. Whoa. Oh. Maybe. Let's go check on Cyrus, maybe? Dude, where the fuck am I going? Harold's getting a workout today. Our little friends there waiting for us. Nope, can't go in there, so it's not that. Well, hmm. Where the fuck am I going? Where could she be? Possibly at the energy district? I think. I do, I do believe she mentioned something about working there, because she mentioned something about there possibly being issues with the energy supply, so... I feel like that's the next best place to look. Destination decided. Enjoy the view. Have arrived. I do like how I can just ignore this. Inspecting. <laughs> oh, there she is. 
Oh, there's Bridget. And Chris? What are they doing in there? I can't hear them, but maybe I can lip read. Yeah, this mm, is a good idea, like Harold. Bridget is pretty excited about something. It looks like she's saying. Uh. It's unacceptable. Tommy would realize. It's just not worth the risk. Ooh, Chris is replying. Let's see. Maybe you're right. It could go so wrong. Anyway, we should get back before people what? notice. Hmm. Pretty mysterious. Now I wish I'd never skipped those lip reading classes. <laughs> what? Huh? Whoa. Oh god. Harold's going into his secret agent persona again. Oh god. Do we have anything to say to you, Sai? Hi, Sai. Oh, hey, Harry. So, you and Sonny seen much of one another recently? Well, not that much. I'm sure you know what it's like. I bet you didn't see that much of her when you two were together, even. She certainly is a wandering soul. Hmm, yeah. It'd be nice if she wandered into her dad's life a little more every now and again, but... Hey, I try and let her grow her own way. Last thing I want is her deliberately avoiding me. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's go talk to Tommy again. I wonder what's going on with those two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta go. Destination selected. Contaminant detected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. You may now exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the all water. Water wieners, wow. To travel with us today. Uh, we're going on over to Slippy's again. My favorite. It's my favorite store. Oh, hello, I don't think you were here before. I can't talk to you though, so it doesn't matter. If I can't talk to you, you're not a real person. Hey Zoom. What do you know about Filter Frankie? Filter Frankie? Yeah. Frankie. Who likes filters? Hence, Filter Frankie. Right. Well, I heard he's always mucking about in the filters. Oh, he's always he's mucking about. That he sells to Tommy. What I want to know is, why doesn't anyone just go down there and find stuff? Have you ever been down to filters, Alon? Nah, you? I got shown him once. Not very appealing and technically off limits. Well then, there we go. Who you reckon he or indeed she is then? Well, we can probably surmise he, or indeed she, isn't really called Frankie. <laughs> what is this? reasoning, Alon. So my guess is, he or she could be anyone. Could be you, Alon. Could be you, Zim. Hi. Oh. Then, uh, there would we be. Down the filters, most like. Hi. Good thing we're not down the filters. I'm just getting comfy. Hi, <laughs> um, right, Tommy. I'm sorry I'm back. to bother you again, but I went looking for Mrs. Vandervart. And she was at the harvest office. Not news. It's her office. Where else would she be? I know, but it's more who was there with her that I thought, you know, I should mention. What? Who was she with? It looked totally professional. I didn't see anything bad. Just Senor T Tinnerbaum. Ah, uh, what? What's he doing in her office? There's no way he knows enough about energy. If I still had my own hair, it would never have come to this. Tommy, I'm sure it's not like that. I just... You don't understand, Harold, what it's like to get old. But I'll be damned if I'm gonna take this lying down. Tommy, I don't think you should, uh, get angry. And you're in on this with me now, Harold. You did the right thing bringing this to me. I'm oh really no, sure what have I done? Nothing, just a lunch chat. I've just been so busy working on this damned store sign. Thinking Bridget would love the ambition, you know? See me as a real go-getter again. Oh, God. But maybe this whole time I should have been showing her signs of my love. 
I'll bet she knows you. You're absolutely right. We'll modify the sign. Tonight, make it into a great big sparkly neon proclamation of my, nay, our love. A sign <laughs> you won't be able to miss. A sign to blind that glossy maned Casanova. I mean, I'm not sure that's the sign. Don't doubt it, Harold. This is gonna work. I just feel it. You're in, right? I'm in. Can you help me save our love? Uh, yeah, uh, I'll try. Knew I could count on you. Let's get to work. Oh yeah, yeah! We're gonna save love, chat. Wow. I'm gonna go freshen up a little. Might even put but, on a different outfit uh, now that I watch, think of it. Try not to walk through the ladder. For Bridget for me. My dear Bridget, I'm sorry oh, thank God that happened off screen. to spend much time together recently. So I get how you might be attracted to the man machine with the flowing looks of an angel that you call your friend. But I do beg you to give me another chance. Please, Bridget, will you let me back into your heart and take this monument to our love as a sign of my wow. great affection? Tommy, of course I love you. And I would never betray you. I just wanted to give you some space. I saw you working so hard on your new sign, and I just wasn't allowed to tell you. Couldn't tell me what? Oh, what the heck. The ship's facing some issues with the energy budget. I knew you would need a lot of light for your sign, and I just wasn't allowed to tell you. Ha! No way we've got an energy problem here. That was it? No helping Tinner Bomb with his spray tan? That was it. No spray tan. I'm so sorry, Buttercupsy. Buttercupsy. I love you. <laughs> Just silent clapping. Oh. Thank you for your help, Harold. I was hoping you'd accept this stone as a thank you. Ah. Oh no. Moreau won't be happy to hear about this. Oh, I did all that for nothing. Major? Harold! If it transpires Harold. to do with this wanton violation of code 7887, then so... No, no. I want to find the rock more than anyone. Mm. Say I believe you. Can you think of anything that might help us find the culprits? I'm sorry, Major. I'll let you know if I think of anything. See that you do. That missing rock is a stain on my sheet of justice. I will. Bye, Major. <sighs> Be good, Harold. I see. Surely I'm gonna update my journal with this. <laughs> the guy, I thought we'd have one of like the happy couple that would just get fucking major pointing at the broken window. Okay, the secretary doesn't want to talk to me. It just sounds like a Disco Elysium character. I really gotta play Disco Elysium. I've really been meaning to. The Bridget? Harold, how are you doing? Uh, you know, same old. Yep, same old here too. Energy issues? You heard that, Mr. Busy Ears? You told me earlier! But yes, I mean, we've always got to be careful and efficient. And, you know, this isn't public. But I want to be extra careful right now until we figure out what's going on. Is the station using more energy than it used to? Well, yeah, especially the transportation system. And the damn tubes or tickets never work and just get more expensive all the time anyway. Right. Why don't we reduce the tube? Yeah, Remind yeah! why we can't just reduce the transport system? Huh. I ask myself the same thing. Every time we add some new upgrade or expand it, it eats up more energy. Our production process doesn't get any more efficient. Plus, when we held an anonymous vote about it, the majority of Fedorans said they'd rather have more transport now rather than more energy later. So... You know, I'm not sure I've ever understood exactly how the energy process works. Gosh, why are you asking me this now? It's not exactly a line answer. Look, if you really want to know, swing by the energy harvest office sometime and I'll break it down for you. I'd better go. 
Thanks, Bridget. Oh, oh God, camera went crazy. All right, Tommy, how you feeling? Feel pretty good oh, now? Harold, listen about the rock. I'm really sorry it's gone. You know, I would have loved for you to have it. Uh, it's okay, Tommy. It wasn't your fault. I just feel bad, you know? I was so wrapped up in my own stuff, maybe... Ah, uh, I don't know. Thanks, Tommy. Maybe it'll turn up. I'm just glad you and Bridget made up. Thanks, Harold. You're a swell guy. Oh, I'll thanks, Tommy. I'll keep my Tommy. eyes peeled. Let you know if I hear anything. Thanks, Tommy. So far, most of the characters in this game have been really nice. Which is always nice. Yeah, let's... Slippy, how you been? Slippy, my favorite. So, Slippy, you've got a pretty illustrious family, right? I certainly do. The Schlipmeyers go back hundreds of years, but it wasn't until Edwin Schlipmeyer made his fortune from nothing that our name was really on the map. What did he do? He invented winter sports. Oh my god. He had nothing but the clothes on his back, and it was a particularly harsh winter in the mountains where he lived. So he decided to create a tournament for all the rich nobles in the area. He spent weeks whittling sticks into slalom posts. He invented the slalom at that moment and convinced his friends to act as expert judges. Then used his last savings to print and distribute flyers, calling for high-born participants. The entry fee was a hundred schmeckles, and the prize? The inaugural Only a hundred schmeckles? Slalom Championship. Wow, that's quite a story. Who won? What? That's not important here. <laughs> Good little story. Alrighty. So, well, actually, wait. Before we head out, while we're in the area, we should check and see if we can not investigate that little uh, little hut up at the top right and see if we can't find some more information about the secretary. The fourth secretary, brother. Nope, we can't we can't examine this at all and we can't talk to that person. They're not real. They're not real chat. And also I'm stuck. That chair is too close to the to the wall. Oh god. Out of the way. Remember, it's all water. Alrighty. What do we do? I don't even remember. What am I doing now? I'm looking for. Oh, we, we just go tell Moreau. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, hello. Harold, got you a message. Oh, thank you, Miss... Zoodle, pleased to make your acquaintance. So, it's from Felix. He says there's something he wants to show you and to expect a secret message soon. Oh, well... Oh, no, Felix, oh. did you steal the rock? I mean, and why couldn't he just have said that to me himself? I don't know. Go ask him. My work here is done. Later's, mister. Thanks. <laughs> she. Uh. Well, wait. Let me check my to-do list. Oh, uh, I don't know where Felix is. So I'm just gonna go. Oh no, wait, shit! I actually went to the wrong area. Fuck. Relax. Oops. Let's let's just go back to Professor Moreau. You're here. Thank you for choosing all water tubes. Let me let me back in. Let me back in. Location nominated. Journey commencing. We thanking you. Just zoot right in there. You guys can't see it, but Thank the loading screen thing is adorable. I don't know how to, what to describe it as. It's a very strange creature design. It's very cute. It's like a flatworm with a face and legs. Oh! Ah! The all water tube system will shortly be closing for the night. Please attend to the necessary travel arrangements. Get home safe. We didn't find Felix. Bad news. Professor, you're not going to believe this. Why does that not surprise me? The blue rock. It's gone. You found it? You lost it? 
it was stolen from Tommy's store. This is utterly vexatious, Harold. I know. What shall we do? We? I need to think. <laughs> Madam CEO, you're going to want to hear this. I'm listening. It's the new boy, ma'am. It's picked up a signal that we have reason to believe originates from Earth. <gasps> have you reverse dated the transmission? We have. It was sent in 2102. So 126 years after we left. Things would have been pretty rock bottom back there by then. Let's hear what was important enough for them to call after us. Maybe it was their final farewell, huh? I hope it's nothing too awkward. Okay, I'll send a copy via... Well, just play it to me. I've got a 1205. But, Mom, it's only 10... And one of those. Okay, playing back now. This is Earth. Earth to the Fedora. Boy, you were sure you're all okay. Whoever is still out there. We're not quite sure how to tell you this. Johnston! Cut the damn line! You're live! What? Oh, fudge! Professor, did you hear that strange message? It was hard to miss. It's the first message from Earth. Ever? Certainly in my lifetime, at least. I wonder, what kind of message would a dying civilization speculatively send to a ship that can never return? What do you think it means? It means that the fact Allwater haven't shared it publicly yet means they're thinking about how to turn it to their advantage. What if it's not the first message? Don't be paranoid, Harold. What reason or authority would they have for keeping messages from us? Still, even if they had planned to share it immediately, they look suspicious now. Gosh, that message could be anything. Maybe they've got information for us about our mission. Hmm. Well, what could that information be? If we presuppose... <laughs> the Red Phone! Oh! Yes? Oh, it's you. Yes? No. Indubitably. Fine. What? 15% out of the question. Well, you can tell okay, it's someone smart because sure. you're saying indubitably. See you shortly. Harold, I want you to come with me. Huh? To where? What? Who was Why? That? When? Why? It was the CEO of Allwater Corp, of course, asking me to jump. What for? How high? Indeed, Harold. Indeed. Well, unfortunately for my bath, she was adamant we went there immediately. She even unlocked our tube tickets for emergency night travel. But why? What does she want with us? Well, we'll soon find out, won't we? Come on, let's not keep Her Highness waiting. Oh, the plot thickens. Crisis control. We need to get out there ahead of the turn in public sentiment. First move advantage and get this working for us, not against us. Yes, come in, come in, come in. Now, as you both know, time is of the essence. Sorry, where are my manners? Would either of you like something to drink? Ah, I suppose I might like a coffee? There's really no time for coffee. Time is of the essence. Professor, <laughs> would you like to sit? No, thank you. I prefer to stand. Oh, a woman of action, I love that. Anyway, we must act. Due to the unfortunate communique incident, we've been forced to move up the schedule. It's imperative we deliver some good news about the start procedure. Hmm. I suppose that wouldn't hurt. To that effect, Professor, and um, you there. I'll need you to supervise Cyrus directly. We can't afford for any unforeseen delays. Cyrus? He works best undisturbed. The man is a stubborn buffoon, but there's no doubting his thoroughness. Professor, please. It would do this old heart good to know that you were keeping a watchful eye on him. Or maybe your, um, protege here could do it. I'll hang out with, I mean, watch Cy, sure. If it makes you happy, Madame CEO, we'll make sure Cyrus delivers. Great. Music to my ears. Thank you both. You've done all water and the ship a great service. I love that the, her big office is We're just ready. this shitty, we'll like, concrete room. And stay on schedule. I don't know, maybe it's supposed to be marble. But either way, miserable.
It's my privilege to announce to you all today that our new boy program has already proven an unmitigated success. We present to you now the full and unedited audio that represents the first incoming message we've received in our lifetimes. Now, before the message plays, I'd like to take a moment to reiterate just how proud we should all be of progress on the new start procedures. It won't be long before we're ready for the first attempt, the latest in a long line of steps on the road to a greater, brighter future for us all. Please enjoy this message, brought to you by the All Water Corporation. This is uh, uh, the Fedora. Wait, we sure hope you're all okay, whomever is still out there. We're not quite sure how to tell you this. Things were pretty rocky here when you left, of course, and, you know, that was a brave move. Probably the right decision at the time. We didn't know whether to even tell you this, but we figured maybe it would give you some comfort way out there in the freezing clutches of deep space. What? Oh, right. Yeah, I guess. Or, I mean, even better, the comforting, warm embrace of a lovely, habitable new planet. Well, we just wanted to let you know that we pulled together down here. The sparrows calmed down, and things pretty much worked themselves oh, out. Oh, nice things. <laughs> Life still isn't perfect. Bananas died out. And you've got to be pretty careful around water. But by and large, we're back on track. I've survived. Wish we could send you a postcard. Anyway, be safe, and maybe one day we'll get a hello from you. We'll be listening. Oh my god. What are you all still doing here? Don't you have work or something to do? Scram! Oh my god! Earth survived! Oh, we got a drawing. Oh, the CEO. Mm. That's a good drawing. I guess... Ah, yes. I need to go to my bed. Fucking Harold's notes are so... I, I must go back to my, retar my recharge station. Does it want me to go up after him? And it was a blade light. No, no. What are you talking about? Hold on. I wasn't gonna go up here, but now that I see this guy going up here, I'm like, hold on. You got something? You can't just draw my attention to this. Oh, what are you? <clears throat> Captain at large, Baronhout? Ah, uh, hello. Uh, how are you, uh, um... I'm Harold Halliburton, sir. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you are. Harold... <laughs> what do you mean by that? Tell me, have you ever felt lost? Oh, I always get lost around here. Uh, no, Harold, I mean... Feeling like you have no purpose. I know my purpose. But sometimes it doesn't seem very important. You heard the leak, I presume? Yeah. Of course. That leak, that one message, it's undone me. If my whole family, this whole mission, the ship, my captaincy at large, <laughs> what if it was all a mistake? Oh, I see. Well, maybe Earth didn't get as bad as people thought it would, but we're still us. And you know, it wasn't us that chose to fly away. I suppose. Speaking of which, have you ever lost someone, Harold? Have you? Yes. Someone important. She's gone, Harold. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. What happened? Coco has taken an... unscheduled leave of absence. Oh, so she's not lost forever? No, I'm sure she'll return eventually. But every moment without her, I spend in longing and despair. Is it anyone I might know? My beloved? Her name is Coco. Oh, not sure I've ever met her. Do you want to see a picture? Oh my god, look at her! Coco She's beautiful! Harold, you're such an understanding sort. Could you try to find her for me? I'd look for her myself, but in these uncertain times, I think it's best I don't leave my post. Okay. Are you sure you want it to be me looking for her? Whatever are you implying? I'm sure you're perfectly capable, um, and I'm thoroughly and otherwise engaged. 
so. Well, I'm not gonna. This demo is way longer than I was expecting. Yes. Such a loyal first mate. Does she maybe have any favorite hiding places? Hmm. Not that I know of. I did find her once in a broom closet trying to hatch a sea sponge inside my hat. I promise to keep an eye out for her. Oh, Harry. I hope she's okay. I'm not sure she has another friend in the world. Bye. Yeah, like, when I thought it was gonna be like when we got the big reveal of that, like that message coming through, and it's like Earth is still alive. I thought that was gonna be the end of the demo, and then it kept going. I was like, oh my god. Demos like this, it's always, it's always gonna end on some big reveal that's gonna be like, whoa! I, I gotta know where this goes. So it's like I gotta keep playing. What's co what's gonna be the big reveal at the end? Because if that wasn't the big reveal, yeah, this is only a demo. This demo is free on Steam. Right? All water. Moving people every day. <laughs> oh, we shit. know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yes, yeah, that's I also thought that was another spot where I was like, oh, maybe that. I should keep an eye out. Well, no ideas on where that could be. We we need to go. All water compliments you on your we need to go home. Harold's sleepy. All water. We get you where you're going. We get you where you're going. All right. Harold's sleepy. Oh, good. Someone wouldn't cleaned up the rest of it. Thank God. Hey, Professor. Oh, are those the new teacups? Come and see for yourself. Oh, I promise I ordered them. Harold, just look. And then it cuts to black. Find out more! <laughs> What's in the box? When you're lost in the dark. When you are lost in the dark, you have to go deeper to find your way out. The light keepers. Harold Hill, that is the color. All right. Oh my God. There we go. That game is sick. I'm definitely going to play the full version of this. I I love this. That's on, that's on Steam chat. You can go check it out yourself right now. Harold Hill. And then like, I will say the story image for this game is like, I thought the reveal, okay. I thought the reveal was going to be the like, what the storm the store page logo for this game is the store page preview image is harold looking through a window and there's a fish man looking back through the window at him and like putting his hand up to the glass i thought that was gonna be the big end of the trailer or, or end of the demo reveal it's like there's life out there what and yeah all the preview images show a bunch of other stuff like stuff we did not even remotely see so it seems like there's a lot more stuff to this game this is really cool. Thank you for tuning in, everyone. I hope you all enter. Let me turn this down a little bit. Vein menu music is so much louder. Thank you for ah, thank you so much for tuning in, everyone. Thank you for all the follows, the raids. Really appreciate it. Hope you've all been having a lovely day. Oh yes, yes, sick. I will one final hydrate for the day. Well, not for the day, but for the stream. Ah. Well, let's see here. Let's send you all you lovely people on over to someone else. Let's see here. Who all be streamings? It's here. Ooh. Ooh. Well, chat, if you've been enjoying the grab bag stream today, well, I got some good news because Noir Mouse is streaming. And Noir Mouse is always doing cool little grab bag streams. It seems like right now they're doing a bunch of Itch.io games, which probably means a good time in my opinion. So I'm going to send you all over there and give them some love from me. And I hope you all have a lovely day. And I'll see you tomorrow for Earthbound. Later. Have a lovely day.
Also, hold on, I just want to say, on Harold Halibut's page on Steam, it says, similar to games you've played Starfield. Whoa, 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 whoa. 